All right, let's do it. Hi, everyone. Oh, it's good to be here. Hey, my lord, Chaos, good to see you. Hope you had a good holiday. Uh, we are back. Uh, we're doing some more uh, Dead Space 2 on Zealot difficulty. Uh, how's my day been so far? Might have been good. Uh, was out very late last night uh, at a uh, friend's party. If anyone from New House is watching, thank you for throwing a nice shindig last night, which is also why my voice is a little bit wrecked. So if you are watching from New House, this is your fault that I sound like this. Thank you for that. Um, anyway. Uh, so, today, uh, we are continuing our Zealot difficulty run of Dead Space 2. So, we, we, we did the full run of Dead Space 1 in Impossible Mode. Uh, we did the first five chapters of Dead Space 2 yesterday. And it did pretty well, uh, to be honest with you. Um, we, uh, we actually, we only died, was it, five times, and most of them were in QTEs, where I wasn't honestly sure what to do. So, I feel like, you know, granted, we do have a bit of an advantage, because um, in... You know, there's some exclusive content uh, for D for uh, New Game Plus in Dead Space 2. So we did a poll on the on the uh, channel about do people want to see the New Game Plus content or do they want me to start, you know, just with a raw, uh, no gear playthrough. And folks wanted to see the, the new suits. And so we are doing that. That does certainly in the early game make it easier than it would be otherwise. So as much as I would love to say it's pure talent that got me this far, I, I, I can't lie to you all. So, um, but for today... Uh, we're gonna continue. Uh, I want to get our friends on TikTok on. They were they were very vocal yesterday. I appreciated that. Let's see. Of course, they made me go through one thing or another just to get started over there. At least I'm breathing through. Well, I've been breezing through the first five chapters. Now, will I breeze through that again today? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Um, let's see. It's not. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Obviously, I have like. All my upgraded stuff from my prior playthrough. I'm just going to move TikTok over there. There we go. Um, so that does make things uh, might easier. Um, you know, we have the... It's a fully upgraded plasma cutter, line gun, uh, ripper, and then uh, the flamethrower is not fully upgraded yet. But, you know, we may do a little bit of that today just for, uh, for capacity's sake. Yeah, definitely not. No, we are heading into the woods. So we, are, we just finished up Chapter 5, so we're on to Chapter 6 now. Uh, let's see. Why don't we, uh, why don't we go ahead and get started here? Let me just, uh, kill the music. Oh, there it is. There's that lovely Dead Space 2 menu music. Do I want to load this? Yes, I do. Um, we are emulating this on RCPS3. Um, I do have the Steam version of this game, and unfortunately, um, the PC version of this game will not work if you have more than eight cores on your CPU. I mean, granted, the game was made in 2011, so, like, that was probably unheard of back then. Um, but I am running this on a 12-core CPU because that makes editing way easier. But unfortunately, it does not make playing Dead Space 2 very easy. So uh, when we made the um, we made the the recent video on my main channel, uh, which is called um, uh, "Is Isaac Clark the uh, the Villain of Dead Space 2?" We uh, we did have to emulate it here. Now where am I where am I going? I'm here. Okay, cool. All right. So if you uh, if you were not here yesterday. Uh, Isaac, who is our, our person here in the elite uh, vintage suit here, um, he was, uh, let's see, he, of course, uh, in the at the end of the first Dead Space, uh, had the kind of marker hallucinations trapped in his mind. However, that also meant he had the design for recreating them. And, of course, markers can contain, can uh, control wide swaths of people, and naturally everyone in power wants one. So Isaac was captured and has been basically... Um, you know, kept in a hospital and tormented and tortured to extract the marker's designs for the last three years. Um, every time they do that, in order to prevent the marker from overtaking his mind, uh, they have to wipe his memory. So he has had his memory wiped pretty much every day for the last three years. So he's waking up basically just fresh off of escaping Age of Seven, and now he is here on Titan Station, uh, where where he's been for the last three years, and obviously they got very good at uh, building this new marker because as you can see here, there is a whole lot of stuff here that uh, makes it seem like that marker has done what the marker does and has turned the entire colony into necromorphs. Um, so we were broken out by a woman named Dana. Uh, she turned out to be a unitologist who wanted to continue to extract the designs from my mind. Um, and so, in order to, uh, whoop, oh, ooh, what do we got here? Um, and, uh, so, uh, she actually died along with her unitologist friends. And now, I'm trying to meet up 
with a gentleman named Nolan Strauss. So Nolan is a fellow patient. I just want to make sure I've got my uh, yeah here we go. Um, who was also subjected to uh, to the same kind of uh, unfortunate uh, experiments that I was, um, and he is clearly not handling it as well as I did. Ooh, what do we got here? Um, uh, I was told. Oh, I don't. I don't need that. Um, I was told uh, by Dana that uh, Nolan killed his wife and infant son when uh, the marker took over his mind. And so, unfortunately, he is kind of the only person who is still around that I can relate to at this point. So I'm trying to reconnect with him right now. Not to we're turning on camera. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Wilma, thanks for following. Glad to have you here, uh, folks on TikTok and YouTube. If you want to watch on TikTok, that's great. If you want to come over to YouTube, that's also great. Link is in my bio. Scrounging, but I hear this music box over here. Uh, ooh, what's that? What is in here? Credits? No monsters yet. We just had a big old climactic battle at the end. Oh, that's right. Oh, this is weird. This is like some kind of unitologist child bride thing they have going on here. It's nuts. Um, yeah, we just had a big old confrontation at the end of chapter five. So we're getting a moment to breathe. It's not going to last long, though. I'm just gonna collect all this extra money people left laying around. Ah! That's awesome. As well as plasma ammo that was hanging out in their child's bedroom. That's cool. Alright. So we are working our way towards finding Nolan. So Nolan has told us I remember they took us to the machine for our sessions for the steps. I don't remember any sessions. You're lucky you don't remember. When you do, he starts coming back. Who? Who comes back? Who? Oh, look at you. Oh, this is heartbreaking. So much. What are you doing? Strauss, don't follow. He's not really there. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with Dead Space lore, the uh, the marker uh, is always trying to replicate itself and grow grow bigger and stronger. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, we got a weird, like, uh, echo there. Let me kill that. Um, <laughs> and uh, to do that, uh, it manipulates people by making them hallucinate their dead loved ones. So Strauss is hallucinating the wife and son that he killed. Um, and I... Isaac, and by the way, I have to say this right now. If you have not played Dead Space 1, and I know some of you are waiting for the remake, Dead Space 2 hinges, like, the plot of Dead Space 2 hinges a lot on the ending of Dead Space 1. So, there, I, we have to spoil the ending of Dead Space 1 as we're playing here, so just keep that in mind. Um, and, of course, Isaac has been hallucinating uh, his girlfriend, Nicole, who died during uh, the event, or before the events of Dead Space 1. Director Titan, all surviving squads Tidman. are ordered to fall back. Repeat, fall back, and then sector. Operation Endgame. We'll explain who uh, Tidman is in a moment. I'm just going to hit the save Continue. station. Cool. Continue, sorry. So Tidman is the director of the colony. He's the one who ordered the experiments on me to uh, to create the marker. Oh, man, we got a big old arena in here, so I'm going to collect everything I can while I, uh, while I can. Um, and since the Necromorph outbreak started, Tidman has, asked, uh, has ordered um, everybody involved in that project to be killed. In... Uh, can't read the game subtitles does not fit the screen. That is good to know. Thank you for that. Let me uh, let me adjust that. That shouldn't be the case. Yep, I see that. Looks like the second line is not lining up there. So we're gonna fix that real quick. Let's see, I'm just gonna try to do that. I got a bunch of stuff on the screen right now, but I think if I do this, mm, is that good enough? No, not yet. We're gonna get there. That looks like it'll do it. There we are. Cool. All right. Slick Shooter, thanks for following. All right, Mylar Cast, that should do it. Of course, absolutely. I'll make sure everyone can find out what's going on. So Tideman uh, has ordered uh, everyone involved in the project, including me, to be killed. So every now and then he sends in kill squads to take me out. Uh, they have not done all that well. Oh, and here's our first pregnant. Be 
careful. No, we're not. No, we're gonna screw it up completely. All right, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Thank you, true understandable. I think they send in one more. Yeah, there's another one. I think, I think one comes out over here. Yep, okay. We're gonna do better this time. All right, you're done. Okay, now we got leapers coming in. Where are you? Oh, that was fast. Oh, my God. I would love to say that's it, but I'm pretty sure there's more coming. Oh, I hear them. I just don't see them yet. Oh, there they are. There we go. Whoa, true understandable. Thank you for all the roses. Appreciate that. Oh man! Woo -hoo -hoo. I love the Ripper so much. Oh wow! He just jumped in and took a swipe at me. All right, I think that's it. I think. All right, let's go and stomp on everything. As you do. I'm looking around here. Where are the corpses? Okay. Well, we need. It. We're a little out of practice when it comes to taking out pregnants. But uh, it all worked out, thankfully. I am real glad I have that flamethrower. What was that? Speaking of which, flame or fuel. We'll be back in this room a couple of times. I think the next time we're in here, there's no oxygen, just to make it a little bit more fun. Ooh, medium health pack, I will absolutely take that. Anything down here? This is the way we went in before to go into the Church of Unitology. There are plenty of loot drops now. We're only getting three plasma ammo on this difficulty instead of six. Uh-oh, I hear something. Oh, third. Oh, god darn it. All right. We're out of practice. Woo! Get off me. There we are. <laughs> We're going to get better. 2,000 credits. You know what? That was worth it. I'll take it. How'd that guy not pop up earlier? I think it's like when you get over here, it uh, it triggers him. And we're kind of at that part in the game now where they're done tutorializing us, and now they're just going to mess with us. All right. What do we got here? Uh, I see. Oh, it's these things. All right. We have not had these yet. See these guys right here? They are going to do that. And there's going to be a whole heck of a lot of them. If they sense motion, they shoot up a little mine. And then it will, uh, if if it is, uh, if they're on the ground like this, it'll just shoot up and down. But I hear more of them. You can hear them breathing. They're in here. You hear that little, Ugh. that's them. Yeah, in this tunnel. Yep, there's one right there. Now we can do. Oh, yeah, it is definitely a trap. Let's see, I'm looking around here. I think this is the next one. Now what we can do is trigger them like that. We can also use telekinesis and throw those mines. Zarnold, thank you for following. Is there anything else here? Yeah, because this, this one will just keep going. We have to, we can shoot it and then it'll end. We got one right there. We got one right here. All right, there we go. Now, when it when they fire off, if they get hit by their own mines, they're done for. I would love to say that's the end, but nope, there's another one. I can still hear them. There's one. Uh, do I have anything? I'll tell you what, you, buddy, are going to help me out. There we go. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, there's one. All right, cool. So, luckily... They will also attack the other necromorphs. I don't hear another one yet. They're definitely gonna be here. Oh yes, thank you, my lord chaos. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube or uh, or on TikTok, we're gonna keep uh, streaming Dead Space content, uh, and then we're definitely gonna stream the remake when it comes out later this month. Oh, I see you there, hiding behind the trash can. Let's try. 
Are you dead? I think you're dead now. Okay. Anyone else? I don't hear anything. Keybands, thanks for following. Okay, so far so good. I think we're all right. Um, what else here? We got a save station. Let's hit the bench first. Let's see how many power nodes we got. We have two. And we're going to keep one. I think we're, we are pretty well upgraded right now, looking at all this. Um, that is just the alt for the line gun. I guess I can do, I'm going to get the, the, Real, the speed upgrade here for the plasma cutter. Hey, I got a uh, trophy for upgrading the plasma cutter. Cool. Um, I've got all the HP, and then I've got all of the stasis module done. Uh, Destiny's number one fan page. This is Dead Space 2. And we are, uh, let's see, we are currently, uh, let's see, we are currently playing this on RTPS3. Uh, we're doing New Game Plus uh, Zealot Run. And I'm gonna pick up some line racks and a health pack and a bronze semiconductor, stasis pack, ripper blades. Mm, okay, let's go. All right, I think that's it, and we're gonna press on. We're coming up, we're gonna, we're definitely, I think the school is chapter seven. And oh man, that one creeps me out. Ooh, okay, we are in zero G now. I'm so grateful for this flashlight. I can't, but I still can't see anything. Oh, this is that area. Okay. So luckily, we are not out of oxygen just yet, but we will be in a moment. I think we have to turn off the oxygen to kill the fire. Let's see here. Yep, we sure do. Okay, so the only way we're going to get through here is by pulling the batteries out of the uh, the oxygen uh, creators here. All right, let's pull this one. Uh, no, no, out of there, thank you. All right, now we're gonna have to get the last one. I'm just looking over here. I think there's usually something up here. Uh, no, not yet. Okay, maybe it's on the, the next floor up. to the higher one here. I feel like there's something to pick up up here. If I remember right. Appears I don't. That's okay. Oh, maybe it's this box. Come here. Okay. Now then. We're going to pull off this. Remove the battery. And now, there's no more oxygen in the room. So it's going to kill the fire. And eventually us. Life support failure. Oxygen output is zero. This area is unsafe for habitation. Personal oxygen supplies are now required. I don't see anything trying to eat my face. Oh, wait a minute. Something just did. Probably a lurker or something. Where are you? Switch to the line gun for you. Oh, there you are. And your friend just missed me. Oh, man, that was helpful. Get out of here. All right. They're done. <sighs> Okay. Oh, I'll take the line racks. Anything else back here? Okay, that wasn't so bad. Power malfunction. Please replace the power unit to reach the generator. Okay, so it seems. I'll pull this out, maybe go back for one of the better batteries. Let's see what we can see over here. More lurkers. I don't see them. Let's go find the battery we yanked out. Okay. I know we yeeted some batteries. There's one. Give me that. I don't think you actually need... Hey, Brian. No worries. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, game uh, friends online. Good to see you as well. Thanks for popping in. Sorry to hear you're sick, though. That was me like a month ago. Oh my God, I think I had RSV. It was like the worst chills I've ever had in my entire life. So I hope you feel better soon. All right. Now, if I recall correctly, there is, uh, there's an ambush here in this elevator. Let's see. I think it's a spitter too. So I want to be like kind of off at an angle. Yes, 
sure is. I think playing Callisto Protocol made me distrust elevators for life. I just assume everything in an elevator is out to eat my face. Isaac, the steps. He wants me to follow the steps. Step one, crawl into the dark machine. Strauss, calm down. He can't hurt you. He wants me to go into the dark machine, Isaac. I can't go. She's in there. She's waiting for me. Strauss. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Strauss, listen to me. You need to keep moving. Can you get to the train? Can you do that? He's coming. Can't talk. Oh, okay. So a couple things there. Um, the steps is something you're going to hear about a lot. Uh, these are the steps they kind of that Isaac and uh, Nolan had to follow in order to complete the experiments on them. Um, and... Strauss is going to be a little cryptic about what those are. I'm not going to ruin them just yet. But that's how they were able to kind of access the marker's design within them. Uh, save real quick. Alright. What do we have here? Okay, we are in. So, oh man, okay. We got the zealots again. You can hear them again. I've gotten so... I feel like I've really gotten to know everyone's little, like, roars. So we need to swap out for the line gun. The line gun is better for this. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, detonator mines. Detonator mines are probably the preferred weapon. I'm not going to use them because I don't have it. Ooh. So, what's going to happen now is they're going to charge at me uh, momentarily. I'm going to get up to a good spot where I can defend... I gotta trigger them first. Okay, that's them. One down. And they're gonna rush at me, and I'm gonna stay still. Do that. And if I can keep doing that effectively. Woo! That was close. That was super close. Luckily, they pretty much only go one at a time. So as long as I can reload fast enough, where I don't get caught at the last minute, like I almost did there, I should be okay. Anything else? Is that it? Okay, that wasn't so bad. i take my spoils here. Finally got to use one of those stasis packs. Use a health pack too while I'm at it. I think... There we go. Not so bad. All right. Let's go run around. I think that's the end of it. Those things... Man, once one of them hit you, the problem is they start chaining up on you, and then you're just done. Like, there's just no recovery after that. They hit hard, too. We took one hit yesterday from one of those, and yeah, it took off like more than half my health on this difficulty. Oof. Yeah, time. I, I pretty much like all day today is going to be time for dismemberment, I think. Either, you know, mine or theirs. I don't know yet. Edgar, thanks for liking. Appreciate that. All right, let's see. I think. Okay, these doors are locked, so we probably got to do this little hacking mini game here. All right, let's reach in and do some engineering. And one more level. We just got to find the blue layer on three of these circles. Luckily, it doesn't move any faster on Zealot difficulty. It's I kind of prefer how they've handled uh, the difficulty on this one, where, like, it doesn't take any more shots to kill anything. It's just that they can hurt you more. Isaac, he's gone. Go. Listen, the steps can destroy the marker. Step one, crawl into the dark machine. Step two, the screws go tight all around. I don't understand. Oh, God, he's back. No, 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 no. Oh, God. I feel for Nolan. I mean, he's definitely kind of beyond saving at this point, but like... You know, he, he does provide some helpful information. So, 
he's kind of talking about like okay what they what they've had to do and nolan's been he told uh isaac right before we left yesterday that he could help to use these steps to destroy the marker so that's why isaac is trying to get get back to nolan and see if he can learn more about how to just how to find and destroy the marker that the two of them built and ooh, little little course language to start off this section so that over there is ellie we're about again. to meet. There she is. This so we haven't met Ellie yet. Ooh, she's clearly capable of taking care of herself. Dismember to remember. Oh, that would have been great. You stay back. You want to talk? You talk from there. Elliot <laughs> justifiably <laughs> freaked out. The last person who said that tried to kill me. Hey, take it easy. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, you got that right. You try it, and you're dead. All right. So let's go meet this new person who we haven't seen, who we haven't seen yet. What's your deal? Look, I think we got off to a bad start here. I'm Isaac. I mean, you tried to take his head off. That's a bad start. Ellie. What do you want, Isaac? I'm trying to get to the transport hub. I need to get to the government sector. What do you think we were trying to do? Hey, I can help you. Besides, we got a better chance if we stick together. Don't you agree? It's not a chance, Isaac. Other people are just a liability. I'll release the door lock. But after that, you're on your own. And please, don't follow me, okay? Wait. Wait. Of course, he immediately follows her. So, we're going to get into this later, but um, there's, there's some good lore about um, Ellie's prior group that she was with. So Ellie is the sole survivor of a group of people uh, don't need that um, who were trying to survive and uh, pretty much she ended up having to kill any of, the, any of her friends who got infected, which sounds like a really bad freaking day. Wife material. Ellie is wife material. Ellie is probably the first person to be good to Isaac since Nicole died. Um, so she is actually, even though she is uh, a little untrusting right now, and I can't say I blame her, uh, she actually does end up being awesome. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'd be a little paranoid too after all that. Okay, I hear them. I just can't see the. Oh, there's one. All right, let me go to the store. See if I have to sell off anything. I think I got some semiconductors. Uh, okay, you. Sell that. All the stasis I could ever want. Not gonna use pulse rounds. Uh, not gonna use force energy. Not gonna use detonator mines. Yeah, the first game would make any... I, I wouldn't trust anyone after all. After everything that happened in the first game. Second game probably wouldn't help my trust issues either. I'm looking around. There's definitely... I hear them. I don't know if you all can hear them, but they're definitely here. Oh, wait. I should say. And I think the school's up next. So if you all remember the school... Oh, boy. It's going to get creepy in here. Oh, speaking of getting creepy. Another pregnant. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Look at us taking out one of these things without them exploding. See, I can do it. Where is it? I hear it. Those little mine guys are still here. I, oh man, I can't see them anywhere. All right, um, let's do. Oh, there it is. Over here, you. Take my thousand credits. I still hear another one. No, not that. Yeah, here. 
Are you? Oh, you're up there. I see you. I hear some. Oh, what is? Oh. <laughs> you know, I am speeding up the frame rate in order to play this. Like it's normally. I think it's. I think it's on uh, 30 FPS by default. And we're playing it on 60. Oh, uh, here we go. Ah, spitters. Ooh, two spitters. Power node, thank you for that. What else is here? Uh, where are you? There you are. I bet I can grab a blade off of you and not waste my ammo. There's more though. Of course there's more. There's always more. Yeah, the furniture, yeah. The environments actually have worked out pretty well. I mean. Uh, so far, we've been able to use them, I'd like to say, strategically. People may disagree with that. Uh, where are you? I hear you. I think. Uh -oh, right there. Now, if you weren't here yesterday, you might not have seen it, but, like, um, there's been more and more uh, necromorphs in this game that play dead. So, like, you hit them, like, twice. They're not really dead. They need, like, one more shot. So we'll get some more of that. QA was definitely slacking that day. Yeah, that one. Oh, there you are. Oh, man, you were so close to getting me, too. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's take that. There we go. There's another one here. I hear it. Where is it? It's close, too. Is it? Oh, there it is. Right by the door. Uh, can I hit you with... Move over here and hit you with that. All right. All right. <laughs> let's, go, uh, let's go cut through Titan Elementary. This is going to go great. Time to play along. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. This is, uh, oh, this is not my favorite level because it's creepy as all hell. All right, I think, I don't think anything shows up yet. I will take this med pack. Oh, did you see that? See the little exploders? Oh, man. We're going to have to kill so many babies. So, it's where the necro babies in Dead Space 1 turn into lurkers, but the babies in this game... Well, they do this. Ugh. What do we got here? Okay. I'm going to have the Ripper out because there's going to be a bunch of those little children. Yeah, this is a daycare that uh, has seen some better days. Oh, I tried. I can't use the Ripper because I can't get that close to these jerks. Ah, ah, oh, man. Uh oh, we got to back up. I was about to go bad. Ah, darn it. All right. That's our first death. Oh, man. All right. Okay. Let's try that again. Um, hmm. Actually, you know what's worked in the past is the flamethrower. I'm gonna try that again. I don't use the flamethrower that often, so I, don't, I really don't mind tearing through the ammo here. Uh oh. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, Cousin Eddie, the kids do want to hug, but I don't want to hug them. I will die. Thanks for following, Woody. Appreciate it. Just like real daycare? What daycare did you go to? How do I never, ever go there? Yeah, all right. Okay, we 
are running out of ammo. Let's back up here. Okay, not so bad. Cousin Eddie, thanks for following. Teachers in time out. That sucks. This area isn't so bad. The auditorium. The auditorium area is actually pretty difficult. Uh, let's see. In here. No, not yet. Oof. Alright, we have. Is this the right way? Yes, it is. Okay, so then what's over here? Nothing. Alright. We've got a text log. What's the text log say? Kids are playing too rough on the playground. Yesterday, I literally had a line of students with, with scrapes and bruises going out my office door. Few kids sustained injuries bad enough to need to go to the infirmary. Call me old-fashioned, but I think there's a problem with kids growing up on a space station. Kids need a planet with fresh air and open ground to play on. Otherwise, they go stir-crazy, start picking on each other. Space is no place to raise a family. <laughs> I bet that's true. Especially not this particular slice of space. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help them right now. It's probably a good idea, but still. All right. We're going to push on. Oh, I should reload. Uh-oh. Know what purpose that serves? Maybe just to creep us out. Take this flamer fuel. All right. What is this? Is this the fourth grader's performance of? Oh, here it is. All right. Now we swap out to the Ripper because we're gonna need it. We're about to get mobbed by children. Yep. There they are. All right. Come here, kids. I wish that was all of them, but it's not. Is that? What is that? Oh, it's one of these guys. Yeah, thank you, my lord chaos. If you uh, haven't yet, please do consider uh, subscribing on YouTube, following on TikTok, or both. Thank you, user whole bunch of numbers for following. I appreciate that. reload because we're about to get mobbed. I think there's a switch back here that's going to let me leave, but not without a fight. Ah! ah! <laughs> that's cool. Get out of here, you. Okay, here we go. Oh, God, this music is both the best and the worst. Fight, let's go. Where are you? Now, I don't know that they spawn in behind me. So I think I can route them up the stairs. But we'll find out. Alright, let's do this. Okay, yeah, they can jump up on the stage, but you know. Oh, we got a couple of exploders. Crap. And some infectors. No, you die too. Ah! Alright, luckily the exploders are standing still for me. That's very much appreciated. Got another one. Is that it? I think so. That could have gone worse. Got grabbed by one baby. But we held our own. We gotta make sure in the, the final uh the final boss battle, there's a bunch of those kids. 
And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get real good at sawing through them. I'm still not entirely sure what the significance of the babies is when Nicole is, like, in your head. I didn't know if that was, like, a thing about the two of them. I'm probably overreading into it. Anything back here? Mm, no. All right. Got a text log. Anything here trying to eat me? No? Okay. Teacher report. I know kids are supposed to have a vivid imagination. This is getting ridiculous. Nearly half my class has imaginary friends now claiming it's their deceased grandmother. Oh, God. Uh, normally, this wouldn't be a problem. It's getting harder to get them to concentrate. I've sent more kids to the timeout chair than I have in my 12 years of teaching. Maybe kids are having trouble at home. I've noticed uh, parental involvement steadily decreasing this semester. Yep. Yep. So that's what the marker eventually does to you. Makes you kind of hallucinate and basically uh, detach from normal society until you die, and then it turns you into a necromorph. You don't think that Nicole and Isaac uh, was clarified? Yeah, I'm not sure how far along they were. I mean, they weren't married. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, but, yeah, I was like, I didn't know if maybe, like, because the final battle takes place in Isaac's mind and, like, he was getting, like, attacked by a bunch of kids... Uh, that, like, that had some symbolism, or, or I could just be reading into it. I don't know. Speaking of Nicole... Hi, honey. Strong denial. Afraid you're gonna cut your wrist if you listen to me? I'm not listening to this. You may fool Strauss, but I know you're not real. Oh, you claim I'm not real, and yet here I am? You are just a hallucination. Strauss knows how to destroy you. He knows how to destroy the marker. We will destroy you. How convenient. Destroy the marker and all the hurt and pain go away. Imagine that, Isaac. You'll never have to listen to your heart. Yeah, like, you'll never have to listen to your heart. Like, that feels loaded. That feels like, you know, it was kind of tapping into something that they talked about. The thing about that, though, it's like, also, the marker is trying to, like, manipulate him. Like, later on... Um, you know, the marker is kind of like, you know, taunting Isaac, like, you know, you sent me to the Ishimura to get rid of me and all that, which obviously is not true. Isaac, it's Ellie. I found someone. Hey, Ellie. Another survivor. He says he knows you. Uh, Isaac. I said, stand still. Ellie, take it easy. His name is Strauss. I know him. He looks twitchy. I don't trust him. Don't. Move. Ellie, I need him to be not dead. I need him. Shit. Okay, Isaac. I'll march him to the hub, but if he does anything stupid, anything, I will shoot him. Will you, though? Oh. <laughs> we'll see. Strauss definitely does some stupid things later on, which we'll probably get to. <clears throat> the origins of the Twitch name thanks to this game. Yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, Strauss, he's a good character until he starts to go off the rails. I like it. I feel like we needed more gray area characters in this game. Everybody is either objectively good or objectively evil. And I appreciated that about, like, Dead Space 1, is we never actually knew whether, ha you know, until, of course, you know, things were uh, revealed, whether or not Hammond or Kendra were uh, up to something, or neither of them, or both of them. There's a little more tension there, whereas, like, in this game... Um, everybody is pretty much very black and white. Um, one of the exceptions was Tideman. Actually, Tideman was going to be more of a gray area character. Uh, let's see. Is there anything here? Um, there was going to be a section. Um, so Tideman was going to be basically locked in with the marker and refuse it. And like, I think like with a whole bunch of the colonists trying to protect them. Like this was in the original draft that wasn't actually in the, isn't in this game. Uh, they cut it. Um, and when you actually fight your way in there, Tideman is just in there alone, and basically the marker has made him hallucinate into thinking he's a hero. Isaac, and actually had good here. intentions. Come on, move. They just made Tideman a jerk for like no reason. Hello, Isaac. Well, Hi, Nolan. This brings up bad memories. I barely managed to escape the CEC facility this morning. Wait, you're CEC? Heavy equipment pilot, class four. You? Engineer. Nerd. Figures. 
Uh-oh. All right, here we go. Shit. It's dark. He'll find me in the dark. Shut up. I am okay, surprised it was cut, out. too. I think it was like, they said they just wanted oh, to have shit. him be like a villain for villain's sake. And I think that makes Tideman a way weaker character, That's personally. Good. Our two Speaking of... Runners, Clark and Strauss. I knew it was only a matter of time before we reached the transit hub. You will find the train inoperable. Are you insane? You cut off power to life support. There may be other survivors over here. Public sector is already beyond acceptable recovery conditions. I can't allow you to escape. Goodbye, Clark. Okay. Holy Let's shit, do this. Where are they? Look out! It's headed for you! What's headed for me? Oh, we got our first brute. Come here. We have the upgraded Ripper. Ooh. He's gonna take his leg off. Yeah, he's done for. All right. Isaac, are you all right? I think that's all of them for now. So. Why did Tideman turn off the power? What did you do to piss him off so much? <laughs> that was a lot of trouble. You know what a worker is? Yeah. The unitologist on my crew wouldn't shut up about it. Why? Is it real? Yeah, it's real. Tideman made one using codes. Patterns stored in our heads. Mine and Strauss. Everything that's happening on this station is happening because of that marker. I have to get to it and destroy it, and I need Strauss to tell me how. You're a strange man, Isaac. You have no freaking idea, Allie. We're about to suffocate, so I think I'm better. Okay, good. Listen, we need power. Without it, we have no air and no train. The sprawl's gotta have backup batteries somewhere. Yes. The solar arrays. Oh, we're there. going up to the solar arrays. <laughs> They've been mothballed for years. Okay, alright, good. I'm heading there now. If I can start them up and get some power to the train. You'll need someone to open the collector panels. I can do that. Take Strauss and keep him safe. All right. So we are going to have to uh, go up to the top of the station here and realign some solar arrays to power the train. Oh, that was a schematic. Oh, vintage elite suit. Oh, awesome. We did want that. Okay. So we'll get our new suit here in a moment. So we're pretty much just not using our credits for anything else on this run. I promise you all suits, and I will deliver. I just want to scavenge everything first. There's a bunch of these little boxes everywhere. All right. This is actually a pretty great little section. And then, uh, of course, it's going to uh, culminate with the, uh, the halo jump, which is just a freaking... Oh, man, it's still so good. Which is actually... Yeah, Tideman might have been more of a gray area if not for this extreme situation. I mean, I think you're right. I just, I feel like that there was, um, they had so much more potential with the character and then ultimately just decided, like, not to develop him. When you get to the very end, like, the absolute, like, last text log in the game is some motivation for Tideman. Like, they do develop him a little bit, but it's kind of too little too late at that point. Like, at that point, like, you just don't care. But they do explain his motivations a little bit. Ooh, okay. We got, uh, look at that there. We got a mine that's going to explode. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. I think we'll see some more of those later. Yep, there's one right there. And I think, do we have, oh, it's these jerks. Oh! I forgot they can take off my head if I'm right there. Whoops. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. All right. That'll be seven. All right. That's seven deaths this run. Oh, I just got to go around and get these again. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot about that. I was like, uh, I was like, why can't I use the Ripper on this guy all the time? Turns out that's why. If I get in close, he will take off my head. But some folks were asking about doing a hardcore run on this, and I'm like, so far, we haven't had a moment like Dead Space 1 where we're just trapped for, like, was it 32 deaths we had in, like, one room 
that room with like uh, the hunter. Ugh. Yeah, so far so good. Well, ish. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like that room in the first game. There was um, the room, it's in uh, chapter five. And it's the room where um, uh, Mercer like unleashes his hunter and you have to kill everything but the hunter. Cause you, I mean, you can't kill the hunter, but like your ammo is so scarce and um, everything hurts you. So that room just sucked out loud. Oh man. So that's what I was picturing so far. Now granted, I do have the powered up suits and all the powered up weapons and all that. So, and, and in hardcore, you can't do that. There, there is no, um, ooh. Uh, there is no um, uh, new game plus in hardcore. Mode. You know what's wild is, like, there's really not many of these things in Dead Space 2. I mean, I appreciate it, because I don't really love these things. Okay, I think it's dead. But, man, do I not want to relive that experience ever again. Oh, inventory full. I do want those line racks. Oh. Uh... You beat all three uh, Dead Space's best trilogy in gaming. I mean, definitely one and two are awesome. I kind of do want to go back and play three. I don't know that I'm going to make a video on it. You killed it with the javelin gun and lightning. Oh, that probably would have worked too. I don't. I didn't get the javelin gun on this run. I have the uh, the line gun, the flamethrower, and the ripper. Straw is doing. Put the power off. You can hear noises three blocks away. He's going to give away my position. Ellie, try to keep him focused. I need to know what he's trying to tell me. Stasis would work on the wall enemies. They might. It actually, it did for a little bit. Stasis doesn't last as long as it does in part one, is what I found. Okay, we got a bench. Anything else in store? Uh oh, something here. Just the one. Nope. Where is it? Uh oh, spitter. Else? I think that's it. All right. Okay, let's get our suit. All right, what's the new one? Let's see. 108,000 credits. I hope we can afford it. Um, elite vintage suit. 50,000 credits. Maybe, maybe not. 15% uh, discount on uh, purchases at the store. All right, let's do it. Hardcore gives so little ammo, the knowledge that death is a bigger consequence really amps up the tension. Yeah, I bet. Uh, we might. Because I have a feeling, like, I mean, we got through five chapters yesterday. We'll see how, how far we get through today. I think we're on, like, chapter seven right now. Um, but we're definitely going to have some time. Okay, this is, like, this is a straight-up Big Daddy suit right here. Like, I pretty much just need a little girl following me around calling me Mr. Bubbles. Semiconductors. And our javelin spears, because we don't have the gun. And our seeker shells. And our detonator mines. Also, I'm going to move some of these out. So I don't need that many stasis packs. There we go. Alright. We got three power notes. Let's go use two of them. Okay. So, Plasma Cutter is all set. Bioshock Stream? I mean, maybe. I'd be down for that. I think, I mean, at this point, we pretty much got to, like, the only things left over are either uh, telekinesis damage. Eh, we may as well. It's that or the flamethrower. I think the flamethrower will just be next. Oh, you missed that suit, Tired Jedi? This is my first time playing New Game Plus, so I'm like still trying to figure out like where everything is. I don't think we've missed any so far, but we'll find out. We were on the police suit this whole time. Uh-oh. Speaking of the flamethrower. We 
We gotta up the damage on the flamethrower. That'll be next. Those things are surprisingly hard to kill in this one. The suit's really bulky. I kind of missed the other one. We'll keep this one on, but um, it's definitely a different look than the rest of them. Okay, we got the solar. Pod is off the mag An engineering work order has been issued. Ellie, I ran into a snag. It looks like the docking pod that runs through the solar array is floating at the bottom of the shaft. That figures. Naturally. Oh, don't worry. I can fix this. I'm heading outside to have a look. All right, so we just got to shoot these things, and they will blast away whatever they're attached to. Later on, we're going to use them a little more strategically, but this time, we're just going to head down here. Gonna take some extra line racks. We're surprisingly running low on line racks. Does this prevent heavy damage? Uh, actually, no. This gives us discounts in the store, is what this one does. Uh, you are schematic for ripper blades. Don't need that. Do you need the, the line racks? Get them all. The others. Ellie, I've got the elevator repaired. There we I'm go. heading up to the array. How's Strauss doing? How do you think he's doing? Can you hear this shit? He's hallucinating, Ellie. It's part of the sickness. This is going to be trouble. It already is. I appreciate that, like, Isaac has some empathy for Strauss. I mean, granted, Isaac's in kind of the same boat and might also end up a raving loon. But he's probably like the only person who actually sees Strauss as like a person and not just a weirdo. Anyone else? No. All right, cool. All right. And we're definitely we're gonna have a fight going up to the solar array here. I'm gonna try it with the Ripper. Let's see if it works. It's gonna be a long rise up there. Yeah, having this for uh, for store discounts isn't too bad. Uh, the advanced suit was our favorite because of faster stasis regeneration. Yeah, that would really come in handy. I don't remember if, like, we get it in New Game... Well, I don't know if you get it in New Game Plus. I imagine you do. Aw, it's almost peaceful for just a moment. It won't last long, though. Where are they? Oh god, there you are. Oh, okay, no, Ripper's bad for this. Oh, it's making stasis here. Isaac cannot have a breather in this game, ever. This guy just has one bad day after another. Alright, I hear... Alright, I hear the uh, little mine shooters. Where are they? There they are. Use Kinesis to launch canisters. Okay, let's try that. Can I then pull this and then use it on you? Oh, wait a minute. I think. I think that's it over here. All right, good. 
We have more med packs, please, because I could really use them. No. Got an explosive canister. I hear them. Is there one? I see. Is there one like right above me? I, I could. Ooh! Oh, that took me out. Son of a gun. All right. Oh, man. All right. Nathan Drake didn't have to get cold crappy moments. That's true. All right. Let's try that again. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there we go. One more. All right. Let's try going this way. Oh my goodness, I absolutely missed that. Thank you for that Kinesis canister. All right, we're gonna use that on the next one. Come here. This is where we died earlier. And I guess it works on all of them. Nope, sure doesn't. <laughs> Is against the, the the two big brutes, uh, the narrow quarter towards the end of the game. That seems like a good one, a good spot to uh, to say that. I was gonna. I know that there is a um, uh, there's a spot, and it, I'm gonna do this. I swear I'm gonna do this right this time. Um, let's see. And then where was the one? It's up top somewhere, isn't it? Oh, there it is. How do I keep missing that? Uh, there's one that's like right at the start of like chapter 15, which is like the final chapter. Oh, man, I hear them. Bring this one. And I felt like that's got to be everyone's last save. Oh, there's one up top there. Oh, I hit the bar. Son of a... All right, all right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's like, uh, that'll be like the final, the final, uh, save. Yeah, because it is 12, uh, 12, 14 hours of the game. Man, I have been my own worst enemy today. Let's go this way this time. Where's the other one? It's up top right there. Let's see, let's look around real quick. Dead, I think you're dead. I swear, I'm not normally so hell bent on taking myself out. Uh, did I play Callisto yet? I did. I have a, a video coming out on Callisto, hopefully this Saturday. Um, we are, we have a, we have a working cut. We're almost ready. Um, I, I think, I mean, Callisto has a lot of potential. Um, and could still end up being a really good game. Let's get you going. But it's really clear that like they did not play test the second half of Callisto. It is just the you can like graph the drop in quality after the midpoint. So it's like it's frustrating because it's like I, I feel like they just felt like, okay, let's let's put in the bare minimum content that we're gonna need. And it you it really shows that they just kind of like they really kind of slimmed down on like what they actually felt like doing. Oh here we go. Welcome to Solar Array Sigma Zero Proper identification is required. Please wait here. Watchman Howard Phillips will be with you shortly. I like this section. This section reminds me of like the first God of War, 
where there was that whole like environmental storytelling with like the architect of the maze. And we have, wait, there's another one of these things. There's a, the little mine shooters. I hear them. Where are you? There you are. Oh, that didn't work. How about you? Anyone else? I don't hear them anymore. Yeah. Um, and like in this section, we're going to hear all about the, the watchman, the guy who's like, who is, um, yeah, like there may be like more of a, Used to, it could have used more time to be a top quality horror game. Hopefully there's a chance for a sequel. I know there's going to be DLC. I don't want to like, I don't want to give it away, but the, uh, the ending definitely cues up some story DLC they're going to do. Um, and yeah, I hope that like they take a little bit of extra time with it and make it what it could be. Cause there's a lot of good in there. I really do like it. It's just that like, you can tell they just like, like they, they pared it down so much that it really kind of like removes, like reduces the value for the player. That sucks. Um, but yeah, we're gonna find uh, the, uh, let's see, the caretaker for the solar arrays, who was a big fan of these birds. And that guy, he ends up kind of getting in sort of a, uh, a tiff with the AI that is uh, overseeing his, uh, his area up here that is basically refusing to let him transfer. And so he feels like he's just kind of trapped up here. Let's check that out. Uh, I want to go home. Uh, Anti, the name of the uh, the AI, claims she uh, didn't get a response to my transfer request. It's the fifth one. How could there be five transfer requests and no response? Surely someone is getting them. Someone is reading them. Hate to admit it, but the loneliness up here is more intense than I expected. It's starting to affect me. The only good news is that Anti claims to have authorized my shipment request. They're supposed to be arriving later today, uh, but I can't believe anything she tells me. I've been asking for so long, it's hard to believe they might actually let me have my birds. Time will tell. Tonight will tell, actually. So he's got his birds. Problem is, he is the only one authorized to go into the mainframe and allow us access to the solar arrays, which means we need his body. Rig authorization recognized. Greetings, Station Watchman Howard Phillips. Oh. I hope you slept well. Well, he's definitely been sleeping for a while, that's for sure. Uh, wait a minute. Actually, I think we still need him. Uh, same with uh, Uden Chronicle and Sweeken in 1 and 2. Oh. Trying to do a spiritual successor to a franchise that seems to have been rebooted in direct response to the spiritual successor in the first place. Was that, is that true? Did they put, did the Dead Space remake because of the Callisto Protocol? I didn't know that. Oh, it doesn't work. All right, fine. Station Watchman Howard Phillips. Please provide verbal access code to authorize your guests. All right, they're on to me. They detected my rig. So there's now some uh, some mines that are going to be placed around here. That'll blow. Whoa, ooh, like that one right there that I almost walked into. That would be bad. Um, is this safe? Yeah, okay, it is. Oh, there's one right there. We need to get through here later. Out. The cynic in you says yes. I mean, it is possible that um, that they, you know, EA saw like a need when the Callisto Protocol got greenlit, and then uh, ooh, decided to uh, do their own. I could definitely see that. That's just as, that's just petty enough for them, you know. All right. <sighs> I remember this area being a little tough because we're gonna unfortunately have to blow out that window in a moment. We're about to get trapped in here. Alright. Like, we can wait. That's gonna happen. And we got some those little exploder jerks. Another one. Anyone else? Likely the studio is feeling pressure from the publisher. That's possible. Capcom did it with Mega Man as well. Yeah. Wait, wait. Was that in response to like Mighty Number no. Nine?
Because if so, that does sort of match up where you have kind of like a poorly uh, received spiritual successor. Hopefully that means the Dead Space remake will be good. I appreciate that at least so far it doesn't feel like a cash-in. Now, obviously, I haven't played it yet. But it seems like they're adding enough to it, and they're uh, they're updating enough that it, like, it's going to be worth your while even if you play Dead Space a lot, like I have. Let's see. I've been trying to stay out of range of Anti's interface as much as possible. I don't want to hear excuses anymore about my transfer requests. Every time I ask, I get computerized bullshit. 23 requests. I put in 23 requests and not one response. I know she's lying. I know she never sent them. I showed Anti though. I let all the birds out of their cages at lunch. It was beautiful. They were flying around. Anti was patting regulations about abnormal profiles. I didn't care. I just danced with the birds all day. I love my birds. I want to go home. Aww. That's really sweet. Um, okay, I hear creepy music. But nothing is coming to kill me yet, so... Let's see. All right. One. Attention, Watchman Howard Phillips. Unauthorized engagement of access lift detected. Please respond. There are more of the boat. All right, trip time. <laughs> oh, missed him. Oh, man. Look at... Oh, it's going straight through him. What the heck was that? I thought, you know, when I first launched the blade, it ended up behind him, but then, no, it cut straight through him. I don't know if you all can see that, but, like, I'll be the first to admit it when they, uh, they legit get me. That one I'm calling shenanigans on. I know, right? You have one job. Let me dismember creepy things. I don't know. Uh, absolutely, the enthusiasm was to crowdfund. Uh, to crowdfund was probably the market research they needed that people would uh, buy the game for a dormant IP. Honestly, the more you met, the, the more you talk about that, the more it makes sense. Whoa! I could definitely see them doing that. Being like, well, you know, thanks for doing the market research. We'll take it from here. I wonder if it's because that he has kind of like armored legs. It can't be, though. It can't go through him. I saw another leaper outside. I don't know if it's going to come in yet. Let's use the bench. Um, yeah, okay, I think the flamethrower. Um, we'll do the reload speed, then we'll go to the... over here for capacity and damage and all that. Because there's really nothing else to dump our power nodes into at this point. Which is a good problem to have. It means that we are about as ready as we'll ever be. Uh -oh. Mark, I know you're up there. Oh, hey, Tybin. Understand that even if you survive long enough to restore power, there is a game. All routes in and out of government sector are being monitored. Give up, Clark. Yeah, see? He's just, he's too much of a, just, ah, motivationless villain. There's just, there's no reason for him to be a jerk other than just, he's the jerk in charge. <gasps> Don't go down the hall. Yeah, I agree. I think there is a there's a trap down there. I'm gonna not. Thanks, commentator. The only Kickstarter you have no regrets in supporting day one was Bloodstained. That's cool. Yeah, that game was that game was really fun. I like Bloodstained a lot. Um, let's see. I think I did uh, Nine Souls. Um, that is a Kickstarter from the the uh, what was it Red Candle Games. So they did. Um, uh oh. Uh, they did Devotion and, um, Detention. Uh, we here. Ooh! Oh, it's these things. Uh, let's get the line gun. Oh, I have, like... I have, like, no health. Where are they? There's one of them left out there. Oh, and I don't have much air either, so... One of them out there. Where are you? There it is. Okay. I think we're safe now. We better be. Is this the new Elden Ring? No, Scott. Not quite that. Commentator, thanks for following. 
This is Dead Space 2. Getting amped up for the uh, for the remake here pretty soon. All right, so we took a hit from one of the zealots, and I don't have. Oh, I do have a med pack on. Thanks, stars. All right. My health is low. I agree with you, Brian, but I'm kind of running out of uh, running out of stuff here. Unauthorized visitor, mainframe. Computer, this is Director Tyson. Disable all solar array functions immediately. Initiating system lockdown. All right. Well, that means we're going to have to go in there manually. Unfortunately for us. System lockdown complete. I'm sorry, Clark. I know what you're trying to do, and I cannot allow you to succeed. There's too much at stake. Pang treasure. I have never found the Pang treasure. I need to look that up. Ups the challenge. I mean, Brian, you're right. It does make it more challenging to play it at half health. Alright, so we got a little bit of a puzzle here. Unauthorized access to the computer mainframe is a violation of Titan Station Civic Code. Replace all panels and back away from the fuse board. Uh-oh. Right, we just upgraded the flamethrower. Okay, so for this, we have the key right here, and we just have to recreate this little uh this little diagram in here so uh, get off me dwarf you regret not uh backing bloodstains and uh weed and chronicles mainframe. i don't think i know weed and chronicles i know bloodstained obviously that, that's a great game all right uh next up we have the square now stuff's gonna come out and attack me here in a moment just swap back to the river Definitely buying that new Elden Ring after this. <laughs> this game came out in 2011, so you could buy this for not very much right now, but it is absolutely worth it. All right. So we have one of the locks that we can now disengage. Warning. Mainframe electrical shielding has been deactivated. Proceed with caution. The other side has two passcodes. Huh. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look. Warning. You are now in violation of multiple subsections. I think we get jumped out here. Let's see. Anyone? No, not yet. Okay. I'm going to swap over to the other side. I trust no one. All right. Yeah, let's see if we can find this uh, Peng treasure thing. I know it exists. I know Peng is a thing that's like a, a little Easter egg for everybody. And I've seen the posters around. Let's see. Game, uh, game tape friends online. I haven't played Suikoden, and I know I keep hearing Suikoden is awesome. I do like JRPGs. I just I have kind of like fallen off of them of late for no reason though. All right, there you are. Oh, this is the first like armored one that we've seen. Oh, hello, med pack. All right. We need square. Unauthorized visitor. Whoop. Mainframe. Missed it. There we go. And then this guy. Alright, pop that in. And the last one. Cool. All right, that's going to open up the mainframe for us that we can then go and destroy, allowing us to use the solar arrays. Mainframe containment compromised. Security has been notified. Oh, hey, thanks for following. Appreciate that. Who is that, Brian? Oh, thank you for being here. Okay. Anything else in here? No. All right. Adam Gregory, thanks for following on TikTok. Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to get enough subscribers. Uh, this is my alt channel for uh, for streaming on YouTube. And uh, trying to get up enough um, subscribers for when they eventually do the fan funding tier, which is basically going to be like YouTube's version of Twitch Affiliate. Like, I'm already a partner on the main channel. But this is a new one. You're dead. What about you? Dead. The mainframe circuits are 
extremely fragile. Please step away. Yeah. Damaging the mainframe circuits will cause lapses in programming. See, unfortunately, that's exactly what I want to do. No. Oh, that's satisfying as hell. Decoro IT. Automated functions offline. Locals. Sorry, Auntie. Offline. Creation reverted to manual operation. Auntie's got big showdown vibes. He said. Second passcode is left of main door. Pangs in this area. I'm okay. All right. The second passcode is left of main door. Oh, it's Peng in, uh, Peng around here. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. You said left of main door. Depends on what you mean by main door. Uh, in the left room. Okay, well, here, let's see. Well, we'll take a look. I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, I'm still on the left one. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see if we can find that. I don't want to take too much time on it just in case it's gonna, uh, just in case it's gonna slow everything down. But, like, let's, let's give it a shot. I wouldn't mind seeing it. All right, left of the door. Now that was for this room. I'm looking around. Not seeing it. Um, it's red. I Means one of these? Not seeing any other passcode here. Left of a door in red. Get away here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where I would enter that. Because we've got... That's been put in here. Yeah, let's press on. It's that one on... On the wall. This one here? Okay. Alright. That's all fine and good. But where do I enter this, um... Yeah, okay. Alright, I see that. Where do I enter the, uh, the pen code at? You said it's in this room somewhere. Let's see. Because, yeah, I'm not sure where I would put those... Enter that code. Same spot. Um, but I already... Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You know what, uh, commentator? I'll, I'm going to press on. Uh, just because I, I can look it up later, but I don't want to, I don't want to hold up the stream. Whoa! Ah! Ellie, I'm on my way to the mirrors now. I have to realign them manually. How strong. See for yourself. No! No, I'm not ready for the needle again! You have to let me go! I can't believe it! It's Ross, what's wrong? Ellie! Oh, there's mines in there. We didn't know there were mines in there. <laughs> Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake! Yeah. Uh oh! There's those things too. Okay, I was getting uh <laughs> I was getting a little careless. <laughs> Major fracture detected. Yeah, you're not kidding. This is actually this game is very Half-Life 2. Alright, let's press on. Carefully this time. Now that we know this room has some dangers in it. Uh-oh. Where are you? There you are. You're over here. Alright, you're dead now. Oh, another one. Anyone else? 
else. Okay, so far so good. I think we're... We're alright. I'm looking around. I hear there's another... There's another mine thing somewhere. I hear it. Oh, there it is. But there's another one. I hear it again. Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, P5. Yep, this is uh, Dead Space 2, actually. Am I going to play Dead Space 3? I wonder um, if I'm going to do Dead Space 3. It's like... It's such a frustrating game because, like, there is potential. There's some good stuff in Dead Space 3. It's just squandered because of, you know, greed. And I feel like if I play Dead Space 3, I'm just going to be thinking about what it could have been. Anyone else? Yeah, we would have to do it after the Dead Space remake. Uh-oh. We've got a lurker. Who's shooting at me. Ooh, there's a second lurker somewhere. Come here. Alright, we know there's another one in here somewhere. Where are you? There's a wall. Oh, there you are. Down you go. Uh oh. I traded some damage there. Come here. Unfortunately, took a couple hits on that one. We do have a power node room in here. Do I have a, do I have a node? I do. Uh oh. Oh, Man, this is like sneaking up on me hard now. All right, let's get in here. Please have something I can use. Contact beam, don't need that. Oh, oh, heck yeah. All right. Got some health. Uh, text log. Uh, Peep up. I do have a YouTube channel. Uh, the link's in my bio. Uh, it's the link to my... Um, uh, it's the link to my uh, my live channel. Uh, I do have a main channel as well. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Red Dragon Master, we're playing uh, Dead Space 2. Uh, we're on Zealot difficulty. So this is like one of the hardest difficulties in the game. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kristen, thanks for sharing the live. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Uh, they hate me, they all hate me, I hate them all. They're everywhere now, they're just perched, watching me, even Auntie. Uh, she's just waiting until old Howard Phillips finally goes crazy and snaps like he did when he let the birds out and violated all the codes and broke all the rules. I'll show them crazy. I'll show them what it takes to get out of here. They'll have to come here and clean up all the blood, and then what, what rules will they make? I'll break those too. I'm gonna lay down, I don't feel right. Oh, poor Howard. I don't know if that was like marker sickness or if that was just Howard finally just losing it. But either way. Poor guy had a rough time in here. All right. I'm going to save, and then let's head out to the solar race. Uncle Krill says, I'm never playing Zealot mode again. <laughs> oh, people, thanks for, uh, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. It's not so bad so far. Um, you know, we'll see what it's like later. I'm a little worried about that last chapter when the Uber Morph shows up. It's, uh, like, he's basically the hunter from Dead Space 1 all over again. And, uh... Oh, he does not make things easy, even in normal mode. All right, let's go ahead and roll on through here. How do you do it? Oh, there's Nicole. How do you hold it all inside? Your face never betraying your pain. No one would ever know the guilt you feel. Never know the dark thoughts you keep. Oh, man. <sighs> Boy, Nicole is just really just set on making your making your life more difficult. All right, let's get our solar arrays up. At least I appreciate that Isaac knows for most of this game that she's a hallucination, and it does kind of change the relationship with the two of them. Um, obviously, he kind of gives in a little bit later on. The Hunter encounter was one of the best moments in the franchise. I agree. Uh, Preston Pura, thanks for following. Um, it's just like... 
I, I love those relentless chases. Like, uh, like I loved uh, like Nemesis in Resident Evil, for instance, for the same thing. Zero uh, let's get the plasma cutter up. All right, replenish my O2 at the stations. Uh, all right, so we need to aim the solar rays here. So let's take this one and move it. We gotta watch our O2. Ellie, it looks like two of the mirrors are out of alignment. How's he doing? Uh, he's stopped hyperventilating. Oh, wait. I don't know how much longer he's gonna last. I knew he would just slow me down. If Strauss dies, so do my chances of destroying the marker. Keep him alive and get to that panel. Okay, here we go. Oh man, I'm excited for the Halo jump sequence. That's gonna be fun. Keeps up the, the cat and mouse. Yeah, I agree. It just, it, it reminds you that, like, you know, in some cases, there's, like, things that are smarter or more powerful than you out there, and that's just the key to, like, great horror, you know? Um, okay, are you... There we go. All right, cool. All right, that's one down. Uh, let's get a refresh All right, on the Ellie, one down. How's it looking on your end? I'm trying to roll back the cover now. Strauss, can you give me a hand with this? Oh, he'll hurt me. I'm not strong enough. I promise I'll protect you. Now, just get over here and give me a hand. <laughs> Something covering the collector panel. Oh my god. There's hun there's thousands of them. They're breaking apart. Ellie, get out of there. Oh my god, they're heading this way. Run, Strauss, run! Ellie, Ellie, come in. Ellie. I think we have to take this thing out first because it's going to fire things at us while we move the panel. So let's do that real quick. But yeah, I always appreciated stuff that was like just as strong as you are. Um, in games like this, because it just it makes you feel like you are... I mean, like you would in this situation. Like, a little bit more disempowered. Okay. Oh, almost there. Ah. Ooh, alright. We gotta watch out for those. Alright, it's done for... They usually give me something. Oh, there we go. Ruby Semiconductor. I will certainly take one of those. Horror in response to what happened. Yeah, invincible monsters play up the terror. They do. Well, it's just like, and I, I feel like, you know, I like that a lot in like most games. Like when I play like Souls games, like I was replaying Bloodborne a little bit recently. Um, my favorite fights in those games were always against like your fellow hunters, you know, where it's just like a 1v1 fight with someone who is equally as good as you are. Uh oh. Okay. Where is the panel? There it is. Swap around here and line you up. Okay, so the solar arrays will power up the train, but unfortunately for me, and unfortunately for Ellie and Strauss, they are they are stuck. Have I heard of the Dead Effect series, Rocliff? No, I haven't. We just made it to the crossover tube when the beam hit. Shh, shh, shh. Right, the, those things are still heading towards the transport hub. They're wrecking everything in their path. Holy shit, they'll cut us off. Get to the hub. I'll meet you as soon as I can. Okay. So we need to get there very, very quickly. Uh, Adam Gregory, man, playing Dead Space 3 next. I think we'll probably do the remake. I don't know. It depends on how quickly we get through with this and whether or not we want to try a hardcore run. Zero gravity. Uh, let's see. Okay, these are all aligned. Ellie, come in! Isaac, we have to cross to the government sector before they cut us off. You'll never make it down here in I'll time. I'll be there! I'll be there! Yeah, psych horror games are fun, too. I mean, of course, we just did Silent Hill on this channel, and that was really cool to uh, go back and play that original one. All right, let's see how we do. Okay. I love the sound in this, or lack of it anyway. We go left. Ooh. Okay, stay left again. This one, I think we have to go through. No, we can do that. Okay, this one we gotta go through. And time it up just right, whoo! Same with this one. Dodge you, and then I think we aim 
right for that center. And I think that is the pass. Sorry, right, good. Phew. I love how I love how Isaac just straight up goes through the floor. I don't know if that was meant to happen, but like when he lands, he's basically kneeling into the floor. All right, now we're gonna have a big old fight. I need that med pack. Okay, anything else in here? Ellie, where are you? Right outside. Hurry. <laughs> You kept the save file right before the orbital jump. Yeah, it is such a good moment. And like, if you were gonna sell this game to people, like that's the section that you would use. Oh, the foam finger gun is legit. Um, game in front, is there an impossible difficulty on this? I'm pretty sure like, um, here, I might need to buy some stuff, uh, maybe some med packs. Um, I feel like Zealot is impossible. And then there's hardcore. Okay, that's it. All right, uh, Dan Moxley, where am I? Uh, in terms of the game, uh, we are at the very end of chapter seven. So we just did the halo jump. Yeah, it's really cool, my Lord Chaos. I think like if, um, that would be really fun to have in a save file. It, it, it's really tempting to give it a shot. All right, I think it's, I think the Ripper is good here, if I remember right. This way! The train is this way! Ooh, medpack. Oh, oh, yes! oh, 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 the factory! Ellie, they need the factory door open! Okay, there's the factory door. Are you crazy? Door. I barely made it out of there with my life. I was just swimming with those things! No choice, go! Nope, no choice. We gotta deal with it. Alright, we got the kids again. There. Oh, there's more. I know it's not going to be the kids forever. We're going to get some other stuff here pretty soon. Isaac, I'll try to open the CEC door on your level. Hold on. I'm trying to remember if there is an O2. Uh, let's see. Read uh, machine in here. Because if not, this is going to be cutting it close. Where are they? All right, there we go. I have a spit or two. Piece of shit, look. Oh, no, you don't. I'm don't giving it my codes, but it's not working. We'll figure it out, Ellie. <laughs> Please. Oh, God. Ooh, that was close. Uh, any others coming up on me? Yep. Ooh. Nice job, buddy. Okay, we got a spitter, and we do not like spitters, because that's rude. Yes, I'm authorized for this. Uh-oh. Open up, you bastard! Yes, bastard, open up. Uh. Ooh! Okay. Uh. Ugh, okay. There! Yeah, spit or it's open! Either go! Try and... Why am I? Oh, I got hit by the spitter thing, and so now I'm moving slowly. Okay, fine. Go, Isaac. You can't I'm, stop them all. I'm trying. Go. Oh, okay. Whoo! That was close, but it worked. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Anything in here? All right, we're on to the factory in chapter eight. Ellie, you guys there? Did you make it? Shit, Isaac. Shit. Hey, take it easy. It's okay. No, it's not. I was right here this morning with a crew of 30 people. But we were overrun. And before I knew it, they transformed. I had to cut the arms and legs off my friends just to escape. Yeah. I feel that pieces of them are still lying around here somewhere. That's just Ellie, I know. I'm sorry. And here I am again. I've just walked one big fucking circle today. We'll get through this. Let's figure out how to meet up. Right. Um, there's a, a central hub in the main facility. Here are the coordinates. Hi. 
All right, so we're gonna meet up. We're gonna meet up with Ellie and Strauss in a central hub. Uh, let's see, where is that? Oh, here it is. Okay, I don't think there's anything out here, but let's be careful. Yep, chapter eight. <laughs> Actually ripping through my ripper blades here. I think I have some of them in uh, my inventory though But as you can see we are starting to run Ooh, wait a minute We are starting to run a little bit lower on ammo now All teams, this is Caleb Xenogeologist from Langford Shift 1 There's something in the facility We lost three of our crew and can't contact ship four. Here comes the transport. Everybody get ready in case there's more. We're abandoning our ship and heading back up. Everyone else is ordered to do the same. Caleb, it's more of them. Shoot them, shoot them. So I guess Caleb was a friend of Ellie's. And it would seem that, unfortunately, he did not make it. Um, we're going to hear some more audio logs from them here pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Let's sell... That's semiconductor. Sell you. Yes. Sell you. Yes. Uh, let's see. Move you. I'm gonna buy some ripper blades. Maybe some line racks. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah. What else do I have in inventory? Uh, let's see. Or my safe. Oh, a whole bunch of these. Heck yes. Oh wait, no, 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 not sell. Move. Okay. All right, now we're fully powered up. Looks like the only way we can go is over here. I'm gonna save real quick. And we'll press on. I feel like I get jumped in this area. Got a power node. Take that. Credits. Anything else? No. Oh, yeah, we do get jumped in here, don't we? Is it here? Power lock and Oh, I do have a power node. Oh, there's a oh, there's an infector in there. God darn it. Okay, hang on. We will deal with that in a bit. Let's get over there faster. That's why we bought river blades. That's fine and good, but there's still an infector in there, and they're gonna make life difficult if I don't get in there fast. Oh god! Speaking of making life difficult. Are you dead? Oh, you're dead? That worked? Oh my god, that's great. Oh wait, the thing's still in there. Okay, let's get in there. Take out the infector. Where are, oh, there it is. Infector ran off. I don't know if it's still around. Okay, I don't think so. Alright, let's go back and collect our stuff. Whew. Thanks, Myler Chaos. Yeah, please do subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying yourself. Be back here doing some more Dead Space 2 next weekend. Maybe finishing up our run then. Depending on how well this goes. And then, yeah, who knows? We might do we might do a hardcore run. That does sound like sound kind of miserable. We could even do Dead Space Three if people want it. I'm surprised at how many people have requested that. But of course, when the remake comes out, we're swapping over to that. Ooh, a bunch of power nodes in this room. Heck yes. Vintage suit. That's not one of the elite suits. So we're, I think this is the same version of that right now. Okay. Push on. Got everything here. Okay. Whew. 
But thanks everyone for watching. It's been a lot of fun to have uh, folks get excited about this game. All right. So. Uh, let's see anything in here we might want? Nothing yet. Fuel processing control. Isaac, over oh. here. Hey, it's you two. The door is jammed. This must have been the last stand for was left down here. Can you get the door open on your end? No. The circuits are fried. They must have fused the panel trying to keep those things out. There's got to be another way in. The only other way is through the processing plant. But it's not meant for human traffic. Step boy. I think I can stop it from here, though. All right. Do it. All right, let's see. We're going to go through the processing plant. The steps. He wants me to follow the steps. I want to take other straws. I'll be there soon. Uh, let's see. Somehow, you keep forgetting there's no impossible mode. Could have sworn there was one. Used to achievement hunt. The guide recommended doing Zealot after, uh, on New Game Plus after hardcore mode. I mean, that would be fun, ripping through this with the hand cannon. I could definitely see the appeal of that. But, like, yeah, you'd have to do, you'd have to know the game well enough to do it on hardcore mode. And, uh, will we be doing Resident Evil 4 Remake? I mean, I feel like we have to. It's gonna be so good. We already did the HD project on here, and that was fun. So why not? I'm definitely down for that. All right, what is this? Uh, detonator schematic, we don't need that. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. All right. I see the vents. I feel like we're gonna get jumped in here. Where are they? Got a bench. Better. Uh, anything else? Is that it? Seems like it might be it. Okay. Keep doing this. I'm kind of into the flamethrower upgrades that we're going to be doing right now. Uh, we got three nodes. It'll be fun to see how it's different. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, that's going to be one of the most... Behind Dead Space, that's probably the most um, anticipated... Maybe in front of Dead Space. Most anticipated remake of the year. I'm really curious to see how they do with that. All right. What else is here? Entering zero gravity. Oh, we're in zero gravity. Oh, yes, I remember I this area. I think I've hit a dead end. Looks like some kind of venting system up ahead. Right. Oh. Manually shutting down the plant throws all the pressure valves in place. You'll need to find a way to force it open. There's a way. All right. So we just pop the... Yeah, that right there. And then... really easy to get disoriented in this section, so apologies if I end up going in circles here. There you are. I, I my... see your friend has powered off the facility. Remind me to thank her for providing me with your location. I've locked the processing cycle on, and you in with it. Get in, here, Clark. It doesn't have to be this way, Titan. It does. And it is. Goodbye, Clark. Let's see, I'm trying to align myself so I can get through here easily. Oh, there it is. All right, R1. Thank you, game, for reading my mind. We're gonna go in very carefully. Just the 
one. Seems like it. I can't stop them. Can't you shut these things off? No. Somehow Tideman declared me dead in the system. Now my codes don't work anymore. You're kidding. Oh shit. Something's coming. Strauss! No. Help me with the door. I need you to see. I need you to follow the steps. What? No! Just shut up and help me! God damn it! I think we have to go through here. Ellie! Just do body shots with these guys a faster. I hear Zach Reyes definitely looking forward to the remake. Yeah, me too. It'd be interesting if RE6 got a remake treatment. I feel like the hard part about that is that game is so high budget that like they'd be sinking a whole lot of money on the idea that like that they would be able to uh, to make that palatable to audiences again. You know, that's why you never see those games that like could have been good get remakes. Just the ones that were good. But I agree with you, like, it would be great if they took, like, all the feedback from everybody and then tried to make it good. Like, what that would be like. I never actually got through six. I played it, like, a little bit, like, just to see, like, what the co-op was like. Whoa. Oh, something's here. Oh, that's where that thing is. I was waiting for you to show up. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, hmm. Okay, I think it's like the... Yeah, we'll... Oh, right, I gotta... I'm gonna try to get closer to that thing. Maybe stasis it. Can I stasis this thing? Probably. I don't think I ever tried it. Just be a quick draw and not worry about it. All right. Uh, I hear something. Uh oh. How are you still? All right. Take this. And get it close on here. There we go. Back it up. And black. Take the river blades. Are you guys okay? No, not really. Step three, Ellie. Just through the door. No. I think I'm close. All right. Let's see if we can get back to them. Hopefully, before Strauss completely loses it.
be interesting to see. Uh, let's see. That oh yeah, what uh, what from software will do with the uh, the Armor Core game? I agree. Uh, Dan Moxley, is this Switch? No, this is um, RCPS3. Oh, hey, hey. oh God, Isaac. I'll tell you in a second after cutscene. Glad to see you've got all your parts. Uh, you all right? Um, yeah. There are four steps. No thanks to Twitchy here. One, two, three, four. Step four. She'll be waiting. Jesus, Dross. You okay? It's getting worse. What is step four? Who will be waiting? If the screws, if the needle. She'll be waiting. He's not gonna make it. We gotta keep moving. There's an industrial transport upstairs. It runs on the same spoke as the commuter train. It should get us to government sure. sector. Sure. One of us will have to sure. deploy it from the gear house. Staring. Asking. I Stay here and uh, I try to get him on his feet. After the needle. She'll be waiting. All right, off we go. Uh, yeah, this is emulated on uh, RCPS3. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the Steam version of... Oh, look. Well, yeah, I don't... Um, you definitely would have got sick of Strauss. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, the the PC version of Dead Space 2 uh, won't run on um, CPUs more than eight cores. So I do have to go through this way to play it. But it actually holds up really well. Uh, we're able to upscale it. I was playing this in 4K at 60. It ran like a dream. Chapter 9. Oh, man, you know what the next one is, I think. Ugh, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. Get off of there. Oh! I got a silver trophy for epic dismemberment. I don't know what that does. Yeah, seriously, I would not have put up with Strauss if I were Ellie. I would have got sick of him way before he freaked out. So Nicole is just going to show up and, like, you know, pick at you. Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh, we're not actually... There we go. Now that we're throwing upgrades into the flamethrower, we should probably use it more. We've got so much flamer fuel. Yeah, Ellie has the patience of a saint, and unfortunately, it was not rewarded. <laughs> but for those of you who haven't seen what happens yet, I don't want to ruin it. Um... Oh, wait, there's a divider here. Ah, oh, oh, spitter. You know what? Never mind. Let's... Uh, thanks for following me. Use your whole bunch of numbers on TikTok. Uh, we got an audio log. Oh, uh, poor Caleb. We're gonna get some more of that. Nico Brazier, thanks for following. Let's see, let's buy let's buy some more med packs. We can use it. We've got a couple of big arenas coming up. I wanna be uh, I wanna make sure I have something we can use. Uh where are we headed? Through there. Anything else? Okay. All right, so we're trying to get the tram operational so that we can run it without Tideman shutting it off. Uh-oh. Oh, we, we got a divider. Hi. 
hate these things so much. No, that's it. All right, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, there's a big arena coming up, Dan Moxley. The one with all the lurkers in it. Uh, that's all right. We're gonna power through, we always do. Uh, this is not it. Oh, but there's a big old breakable window there. I try not to need it, but who knows. to do it he was too close I knew he was uh, I knew he was right up on me but like he was gonna smash me if I didn't all right power node it's probably gonna be more of them you can usually slip us uh, uh, slice off their arms with a ripper but we didn't get a chance to see that time uh, okay what else what's, 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 is here uh, nothing here all right fuel pressure fuel pressurization tower mid-level comment so badly because we actually talk about this moment in the Callisto Protocol video that I'm working on right now. Um, I don't want to ruin anything, but like, uh, uh, Isaac could not have known that. This is Soren Sedetti remaining CEC personnel. Track towards Ellie Langford's rig. We're going as furthest ahead this clear to pass, but it's throwing me off fast. We gotta go, boss. More's coming. Don't think, just move. Oh, it's another one of these jerks. Uh oh. Oh, it's going straight through him. What the heck? That's cheating. Okay, he did get me briefly. Those are cutting right through everybody. Is Isaac off his rocker or are there more to it? Yes. Isaac is off his rocker. It's not his fault. He is suffering from the same marker sickness as Strauss. Oh, I could have used that. Ah, bummer. Oh, well. Um, the hit detection is kind of glitching up. I have definitely gone through a couple of, like, cut through, a, like, straight through a few people so far. Uh, oh, well. It didn't get us too bad. At least we're still alive. But yeah, that is Isaac's, uh, or... Someone who escaped my final test. You couldn't bear to watch the end, could you? You knew what had happened. Maybe you were looking for me anyway. You knew deep down, all of you was fine. What happened? Alright. Uh-oh. Yeah. Ah, shoot, I was too close. Alright. So we talked about this uh, during the Dead Space 1 thing. And by the way, I have to do uh, big old spoilers for Dead Space 1 right now. Um, okay. So, yes, uh, Nicole, uh, Isaac's uh, ex-girlfriend, did uh, uh, unalive herself in order to avoid being killed by the Necromorphs on the Ishimori in Part 1. And then sent Isaac a video of it. Like, who the heck would ever send that to somebody? Like, send them a final goodbye or something? Why would you send them that in a video? Why would you think they want to watch that? I think we're in a stasis game. There we go. Now we can take him out. Uh oh. Man, that all worked out way better. And now we can stomp the pregnant. But yeah, who the heck would ever send that to their partner? Isaac is off his rocker because of the gosh darn aliens. You're correct. All of this is correct. Isaac is off his rocker, but it's not his fault.
You figure the mailing system would filter out that message or mark it as spam or something. <laughs> well, then he would have never known. But yeah, he did. Uh, he did kind of repress the end of that message, and of course that uh, leads him to uh, an uncomfortable revelation at the end of Dead Space One, which sucks. And I feel for him, and I absolutely would not have taken that well either. Um, all right, damage and duration for the flame. We have upgraded everything but the flamethrower, so now we're just throwing our, our uh, cores into there. Uh, let's save. But yeah, I wonder if they'll touch on that in the remake, because, like, really, nobody would have wanted to watch that, Nicole. Come on. Clearly, she's not, you know, she's not exactly in her, her right mind either at that moment, so I forgive her, but... Ugh. All right. So, uh, we got a... Uh, We gotta, we gotta get that up and running here. Okay, so we need, we are missing three parts, and they are scattered around the room. Let's get this one. Oh, there's something here. Oh, it's you, jerk! Get over here. Get off of there. You dead? All right, you're dead. Okay, that's one. I think the other two are hidden in here, maybe. Yep, okay. There's two. And there's three. There we go. Was Nicole a unitologist? I don't, that's a great question. I don't know if she was a unitologist. Um, I mean, Supposedly, everyone on the Ishimura, or at least all the high-ranking officers, were unitologists, so theoretically she was. But I don't know that that's ever come up. All right, I release the transport. Meet me at the landing. We'll be right there. Strauss, come on. Come on. Yeah, one would assume, if the lore is correct, that she was a unitologist. Uh-oh. I was reloading. Ah, darn it. I was reloading just as he was there, and he got me. Good job, buddy. All right, so we finished that. Let's save. They all looked for the marker. Yeah, I mean, there's a question. Like, it, did Nicole know about it? I mean, I kind of feel like... I don't recall there being any kind of, like, audio logs or something that explain whether or not Nicole knew all of this was going on. All right, let's get to the lift. Activate, yes. Why'd you come looking for me if you knew I was dead, Isaac? Did you think I would forgive you? Get out of my head. You're not Nicole! <laughs> Who am I, Isaac? You know who you are, Marker. Yeah, I think it's likely. Oh boy, you, got, you all know what's coming next, right? <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to do that chapter next. But first, let's get to this. I don't think we're done with this chapter yet. But next up is the big one. Hey, you made it. He's staring at me, Isaac. Through the holes in his head. Listen to me. She's wearing standard issue Stop clothes. Relax. I mean, Stop relax. she's Isaac, also a doctor. She was like the chief here. medical right. officer. Let's go. All right. Oh my oh, God. Yeah. Speaking of Nicole, that's the Ishimura. Yeah. Used to be the pride of the CEC. It's a sad story, actually. I heard everybody on board died. Some sort of terrorist attack. Yep. What? In uh, Dead Space attack. Aftermath, they cover that. What happened aboard that ship was no terrorist attack. Well, they framed somebody for the terrorist what attack. That's where all this started, Ellie. Everything that's happening here happened on that ship. I saw it. I was on board when it happened. Hey, what's happening? I, I don't know. Someone must be blocking the track. Stay here. I'll take a look. Oh, yeah, okay, so we have a little bit more to go, but obviously... At least one of the doctors saw the stuff happening to their patient, thought it was divine, though. You're, you're right. I mean, like, uh, the science officers 
we're both unitologists. So it's entirely possible Nicole was too. I wonder if they'll cover that in the remake. Here's something. I think that's just steel bending. All right, so we got to clear the track. So we have another zealot section here. Um, how am I doing on line racks? Not good. Um, let's load up. I don't know if there's a store. I think we'll have to go plasma cutter for this one. Because, yeah, we got these things. However, we're not going to take these mines out just yet because they can actually help us in this section. Because those charging the zealots will, will run right over them at times. So if we can help it, we're going to leave it. I think we have to take this one out. Yeah, look, it's already just its waiting for us. Uh, do I have anything I can throw at it? Any garbage laying around? Oh, there's this thing. But that, that does the stasis, though. I don't want to launch that one just yet. I'm going to keep that for later. All right, let's just use a... We'll use a plasma charge on this one. We're going to leave that for later because we're going to need some help later on. I got full stasis. We got an audio log. I'll leave this here who's left. Our crew is chasing us. Our dead crew is chasing us. It's just me and Ellie right now. We're not going to make it. No. Get up, Caleb. It's just a few more meters. I hear them coming. Don't kill us both, Ellie. Just run. I'll save you. Just go. No, Caleb. Caleb. There he is. Woo! Missed him on the first one. Now, I don't know if she, if Ellie and Caleb were involved, or... Yeah, I think he's gonna, he's gonna run right on this thing. See ya. I mean, I suppose, you know, she could still be sad even if they were just friends with the door. Woo hoo hoo! And this is why we didn't take any of them out. Keep that stasis pack. I agree with you, Dan Moxley. The health HUD is great. But yes, Nicole could very well be a scientist and a unitologist. One does not preclude the other. And granted, what Mercer did was pretty amazing, even if, you know, it was for terrible reasons. Yeah, I'm looking around. I don't want to walk into any of them. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Come on. Oh! Woo! There we go. They run really wide. I don't know if... Uh-oh. Ooh, got me. Good job, buddy. Okay. All right, there's one still out there somewhere. I think I'll be safe here. Run around somewhere. Where are you? Ooh, I didn't know they could jump over those things. Ah, oh. man. All right. Let's try this again. Sorry about that. You pass us with the three saves. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. We'll see. This room, especially, I remember like the last time I played this room too. It was uh, it was not easy. Okay, I'm gonna take. Out this one. Uh, let's see. There's the audio log. We don't have to listen to that again. Coming in from behind. So far, so good. Now there's an enemy 
more. There's, uh, there's going to be more. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Where are they? Okay, there's you. Okay, so if you swing wide, will you be right here? Woo! That was close. Still going. There's got to be another one out there somewhere. Where are you? Oh! oh! I thought I missed it. I absolutely thought that was game right there. Oh man, I can't believe that works. That was cool. At least the hit detection went uh, uh, messed up in my favor that time. Oh, that time, however, I, I think that wasn't it. Though. You love this game? Yeah, me too. David Charge. Hello, big beautiful daddy. I'll take it. Why not? It's been a while since someone's called me a big beautiful daddy. All right. Uh, let's see. I got some line racks. Now, I'm going to need you. Get over here. Okay, Dream. Thanks for following. Coast is not clear. I wish it was. We got to deal with that thing. I think the coast is clear. I don't recall if something pops out of there. We'll take these line racks and... Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. It's still in stasis, so it's like its blood is just like floating through the air. That's awesome. This game is wicked. Just, I agree. Personal favor of the trilogy. Yeah, your favorite Dead Space enemy. Definitely not mine either. I could deal with less of those things. All right. Okay, let's pop in the elevator. Yeah, we're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to re up on our ammo. Ooh! Oh yeah, it's a bunch of these jerks. Uh, okay, what do I have a bunch of? Can I flame these guys? Yeah. Let's just do that. I feel like there's probably one in there. Oh, there's one right there. What about in here? Your father and you used to play Dead Space 2 together, uh, but he'd always walk away when it was the demon babies and kids. He would not fight them. Honestly, I kind of don't blame him. Like, I feel like if I had kids, especially like... Those demon babies, like, they really do look like, you know, five-year-olds or so. I would probably have an issue with that, too. Ooh, that was well-timed. He popped right out, and then he got blasted here. That was great. I'll take that health. Thank you. Yeah, they really went out of their way to make them look just human enough 
that it's disconcerting. All right, let's get some more ammo because we're going to need it. Glad we got that discount. Um, get a whole bunch of this plasma ammo, maybe some line racks. Uh, hold on for two seconds. I will be right back. Uh, and then we have a pretty big boss fight coming up. But I just need one moment. And then I will return. Let's get back to it. Ugh. All right, I think we've got. All right, let's save. But yeah, we got a pretty big old boss fight. Uh, actually, you know what I need to do? I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna go to the inventory and get some of those small med packs and burn some of them. There weren't many boss battles in this one. Not really. Um, there's not a ton. Um, there's just enough too. Like I don't, I don't think Dead Space, like Dead Space games, have ever really done a great job with boss battles. So I don't need there to be a bunch of them. Oh, let's sell off all these semiconductors I've been hanging on to. <laughs> I didn't even realize we had those. All right, let's uh, let's free up some inventory space the best way possible by selling off these guys. Right, there we go. All right, let's save that again just so that we can keep it, and then we'll press on. Now, if this is what I think it is, yep, it sure is. Okay, so. Ellie, there's a giant tentacle blocking the transport door. It's wrapped around a big tank. A big tank? Nitrogen trichloride. Those explode if they overheat. Perfect. All right, so this big old tentacle is preventing us from moving, which means we got to blow these things up. Problem is, there's something real big that's going to have a problem with that. Now, we can kill the bosses here, but they're just going to keep coming. So we're honestly kind of better off just trying to manage them as much as possible. And then after that, boom. That worked. We're moving again. We'll wait for you up ahead. And then getting oh, the hell out of there. I'll meet you there. All right, this is gonna be tough, but we'll, we'll see. All right, so there's the tram with Ellie. And now I gotta blow up this one. Okay, Ellie, get ready. One more. What? Are you crazy? That one in the middle. If you set that off, it will incinerate everything in here. Yes, it will. Oof, ow. To hold on. Good job, buddy. Here we go. I'm gonna try to leave him wounded, but not kill him. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, now we gotta wait for these to regenerate. Here. Go, go. Faster, Ellie. Faster. I can't make it go any faster. Yeah, 
That's a tram, Isaac. What do you want? Admire your persistence, Mr. Clark. But this is bigger than you and bigger than the lives of everyone on this station. Sir, final preparations for the back are wrapping up. Looks like it ends here. At this point, it's all just dead weight. Oh, man. Isaac, what did he mean? What did he mean when he said dead weight? Nothing you're gonna like, Ellie. He's using the solar beam. We gotta stop the transport now. Oh, shit. There's no track to get across on. Back us up. Back us up to the station. What? Why? Just do it, Ellie. Hurry. This is such a BS reason to go back to the Ishimura, but I'll take it because it's so much fun. Can... You can snag off sec and drag it back? Isaac, this is ridiculous. If I can line the tracks up just for a few seconds, you should be able to get the transport across. Stay ready. And take care of Strauss. Isaac, no. This is a really bad idea. I'll stick around. I'm full of bad ideas. Nice. Uh, yeah, game uh, tape friends online, so you can insta kill one boss fight in Metroid Dread. That's cool. I appreciate like in some of like the Dark Souls uh, fights, for instance, like that like that there are ways that you could like cheese out of some bosses, which is like honestly fine if you've already done it and you beat them legit and you just want to you know get past that section. Why not? Oh man! All right, so we're gonna need to use the gravity tethers from the Ishimura. So before we go back to the Ishimura later this month. I guess we're going back now. Uh. Oh, Joe, thanks for saying so. Thanks for being here. Take care. Have a good day. You solved Dead Space 1, 2, and 3 four times now, Apache Black. Oh, that's cool. I have, uh, I've beaten 1 and 2 multiple times. I've only played 3 once. I have played 3. I got through it. I haven't played the DLC yet. I've actually heard the DLC is pretty good. Oh, man. Here we go. You have to sequence break in order to do it, but it's like a reward. Well, but again, that's kind of like Dark Souls let you do that, like with the Master Key. Like, it's it's not, you know, maybe not your first playthrough, but for later, it's kind of a fun treat for folks who want to go back and just get to their, their best part. Adam Gregory, this game on the hardest difficulty. Well, it is the hardest difficulty except for the one where you only get three save files. That is the hardest difficulty of this game. So we're playing on the hardest one besides that. We might do a hardcore run. Maybe we'll do, like, a vote on the channel. So, like, uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel in my TikTok bio. And we'll do a poll and see if we want to do a hardcore Dead Space 2 or Dead Space 3 if we finish up in time. There should still be a computer in the, uh, the flight lounge. I, I can check the ship's status from there. Are you okay? You sound a little nervous. Yeah. Last time I was here, things didn't go so well. Look, I'll contact you soon. Isaac's holding it together way better than I would, to be honest with you. <laughs> The storyline is there's got to be a four coming. I mean, maybe. I hear that's why they did like the Mass Effect um, Legendary Edition because they're gonna do Mass Effect Four, obviously, and uh, that way, you know, kind of put the best version of the game out there and get people excited. Cause I uh, I got some footage from Mass Effect Three for my Watch Dogs video, and uh, yeah, like the like, OG Mass Effect Three, and like it's it did not hold up all that well, like. Just to have the scaling UI in the game was uh, was such a big improvement. But hey, here we are, back in the flight lounge. And we have a little bit of time before there's going to be any actual enemy encounters. Um, I think I think if I remember right, when they pitched this, um, it was going to be as a great way to like save money on level design. Because, of course, like everything already been built. But like I can't imagine this game without this level. Even if it is just, you know, straight nostalgia bait. I love Mass Effect 2. I think we're or, or Mass Effect as well. I do love Mass Effect 2. Um, I think we're gonna do some uh, some Mass Effect on this channel at some point. Do I have to go through? Okay, I gotta go through there. But first, let's go into the flight lounge here. Or we're in the flight lounge. Let's let's go to the the, the uh, launch deck. I think there's some stuff in here. We have a text log. Uh, the Clogger. I don't know who the hell needs a whole roll of toilet paper to wipe their ass, but I'm going to kick their ass if I ever find them. Uh, the fifth week in a row that some jackasses clog the toilets in here. We're in space for crying out loud. If the plumbing gets jacked, someone has to spacewalk with a helmet and full of... 
crap to get, clean it out and knock it off. All right. What else is here? Oh, you know what? My death counter is a little bit off the screen from what I've noticed here. Let me let me fix that real quick for the folks on YouTube. Yeah, for folks on TikTok, we have a death counter going. Uh, let's see. And I just looked at the monitor, and I saw that it is kind of off the screen. There it goes. Now, hopefully that means that I don't end up in the triple digits for death counting. Because <laughs> then we'll have to change it again. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Small med pack. Audio log. Go on. This is Hendrick. You really don't hear anything when you're cleaning these bathrooms? Every shift. Ooh, power. I swear, I hear something in the walls, like a, a scratching noise. When I stop moving, it stops. When, when I move again, it waits a bit, then comes back. T today, it, it followed me around right under my feet like it was stalking me. I, I, I can't take this, man. The, the ship is cursed. It is a bad, bad omen that it's here. I'm putting him for a transfer. You should, too. You're not kidding that it's a bad omen here. I would not want to work on this ship. Oh, man. Diagnostic report. All right, so what's the deal with the Ishimura? Gravity and life support on reserve power. Primary systems offline. Main centrifuge offline for repairs. Damn it. That's what I thought. What? The gravity centrifuge is under repair. I'm going to have to go down to engineering. <laughs> This should be interesting. That's one way to put Is it. Is it safe? I don't no. know how it could be. I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. All right, let's head down to engineering. Let's see if we can get the grab uh, centrifuge back up. Michael Reed, thank you for sharing the live. Appreciate it. Oh, man. I do appreciate the changes they made to this whole section. Like, uh, I mean, I'll, you will see in a second. But specifically, uh, and I put this in my Dead Space 2 video as well. Where was it? Um, this section over here where, where now the, uh, the board has been almost scrubbed off, but you can see not entirely, so... That was a nice touch. I guess this is the area that they have mostly cleaned up. Uh, they are not done totally cleaning the station, as we'll see in a bit. Or the ship. All right, how are we doing on the bench? Uh, we have three power nodes. Uh, let's do capacity for the flamer. King Tyrus, thanks for following. And thank you for following, Michael Reed. Now, I think we're good for a little while until we get to. Uh, there's gonna be a brute that pops out in a little bit. William Spurlock, thanks for following. Curious about how the next Bioware game will shape up. I, I did too. I, I am glad that they are finally allowing Bioware to work on what they do best. Now, whether it's gonna be good or not, I don't know. But like, you know, I feel like Anthem and Mass Effect Three have just taken so much wind out of their sails. Ooh, I heard that. I mean, obviously, Mass Effect 3 was, um, you know, one of their big franchises, too. But, like, I mean, it, it, it has been just tough release after tough release for Bioware in the last couple years. Jeez. We have the payload. It's glorious. Altman be praised. Of course, William Spurlock. Thanks for being here. I'm surprised people don't get that name right. I always think of like, I guess Morgan Spurlock was what I was what I went with uh, at first. I mean, you're probably tired of that comparison, but uh, um, but yeah, happy to do my best. Yeah. Welcome, glad to have you here. 
you stand a Jade Empire sequel. That would be fun. I would appreciate if they let them go real old school. Isn't there supposed to be a Kodor sequel coming out too? I think so. It's been a while. Okay, I gotta go that way. So naturally, let's go the wrong way. Get all the stuff we can. Oh, sure, Brian. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you hanging out. Have a good dinner. I'm gonna have lunch here in a little bit. So I'm here in California. It's, uh, what is it, about 3.30? Go on. It's Hendrick. Did you come in last shift? Did anyone? I, I think it's just me down here now. I, I got lost last night when the lights went out and I fell down the ramp. I think, oh, or someone tripped me. I'm all bruised on my left side and my ankle is swollen. Are you, are you sure you guys aren't down here? I, I hear something near my locker. Screw this! I'm heading up. I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> You know what? That guy lasted longer than I would have. Uh, Zhurst, yes, this is Dead Space Two. Uh, three hours behind me, so we'll, William Spurlock, you're in the East Coast, I think. Moxley, it'll be over soon. Yeah. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this peace while it lasts. I do appreciate that. Like they gave the, they gave us a little bit of time to breathe in here. I mean, obviously, we will definitely have to, you know, fight again in a little bit, but just being able to drink in the atmosphere here is so good. Is this... All right. Well, that was a fun break while it lasted. How am I doing on stasis? Pretty good. Because we're going to need it. All right, so we're just gonna enjoy this nice, quiet, peaceful time at the Ishmore. And oh no, we had a break. Oh, down you go. We got a bronze trophy for brute juice. I'll take that. Nope, no more breathers. <laughs> it's time to get back to work, Mr. Clark. You got one job. Let's take this. All right. Oh, here's another one. Come here. Let's do it. Charging. Ooh. I love how they're so strong that even if they're like under stasis, they can still wreck you. But you can pretty much brutalize them just doing this. Alright, that's the end of you. Did I stomp the other one? Isaac, they're swarming into the ship! Yeah, I know! I'll call you back! Come here. Knock that off. Come on, lose it. Something's coming. What are you? You are pregnant. Oh, God! Ah, and you're behind me. Oh, man, they are everywhere! While I'm back here, let me just double check and see if I did stomp that one. If he's still here, let's see. Can't remember if I did or not. Uh, nah, he's gone. Oh well. Yeah, no one can hear me scream out here. King Nova, thanks for following. Uh, folks on TikTok, also, uh, my link is in my bio for my uh, YouTube channel. We're back here on uh, Saturday and Sunday every day, uh, every weekend. So. Love to have you back. Okay, you're locked. Anyone else? 
coming out to play. You're locked. Uh-oh. Something's up there knocking stuff over. Let me get some stasis refill. Thank you. Cool thing about watching my streams is I keep cool even when the game test my patience. I mean, like, I feel like you have to be comfortable with that if you're going to sign up for, some, for a challenge like this. Like, if you're the kind of person who, like, throws a controller and freaks out every time you lose, then, like, this is the wrong type of game to play. You gotta have fun with it. Because at the end of the day, it's like, this is supposed to be fun. This is great. I get to hang out with a bunch of cool people and play games I love. How awesome is this? This makes you want to play them all over again. Honestly, it's been really fun to go back and replay these. You should. Even when this game has tested my patience. I mean, one was definitely a bigger test, but this is, this is still good, too. All right, let's get up here. Okay, no, Ellie, it isn't safe. Nope, I'm sure isn't. Centrifuge. Just be careful. I'll call you when it's online. Okay. Let's make our way back through. I think this is engineering. This would have been chapter three in the original game. It can be a challenge sometimes. Plus, controllers are expensive, man. Warning. The engineering deck has not completed final cleanup and decontamination. <laughs> if the throwing controller stream was made, you'd watch that all day. I mean, maybe, but that would get expensive. Controllers aren't cheap, especially now with, like, the dual sense ones. All right, we need some more ammo. Um, let's see. No, I don't need the nodes. Uh, anything I can sell? These. And then let's buy a whole bunch of plasma. Maybe a few line racks. And some medical equipment. And let's get whatever's in here. We've got plasma. But I agree, I'd probably watch that. Not expensive on this end, also they're gonna mess them up anyway. I mean it's true. Oh, I oh that's right, we're back here. I remember this whole section. This is the start of chapter three. I did a, a video for YouTube called The Brilliant Levels of Dead Space. We covered a lot of stuff on chapter three. Uh, namely, there's a jump scare that only, um, that just involves sound. You know, there's a moment uh, where um, you go into the engine room and it's so loud and wild in there. Um, and the funny thing is that's actually here, in, I live in the Bay Area, I live in San Francisco. Uh, it's our subway system. Because this game was made in Silicon Valley, like uh, not too far from here. Um, and so they were like, the sound in that in the, the tunnel going under the bay is so bad, let's make that a jump scare in the game, and they did. So we covered a lot. we covered a fair amount of that. We actually went out to the tunnel and like matched it up. It was cool. Dawson Rockcliff, you went through uh, let's see three controllers while playing Elden Ring. I mean, granted, I probably would have banged up a controller fighting Melania. If, if any game was going to cause me to to break some gear, it would be that one. <laughs> oh man, never again. I say never again, but I actually am itching to play Elden Ring again. I just started Persona Five like just for fun. I know that's gonna be like a hundred and something hours right there, so it's gonna be a while. Uh, okay, I think we have, this is the uh, decontamination chamber from Dead Space 1, and we're definitely gonna have a big old fight in here, so let's uh, get everything we can. Uh, how am I doing on power nodes? Uh, I've got two, so let's use one for faster reload. Uh, how am I doing on Ripper Blades? Okay, we'll be fine. This is close quarters too, so like the Ripper's really good in here. Decontamination. Witcher 3 is super long too. It took me a good year to do my second playthrough of Witcher 3, just cause like I would stop and play other things and it would, oh man, it was so long, but still that game is so freaking good. Persona 5 might be 500 hours? Oh, man. Well, good luck to my backlog. Oh, we don't fight in here? I wonder if we fight on the way back. I feel like we do have a fight in here. 
Maybe I'm thinking of the first game. Obviously, the first game is a big fight in this room. Yeah, Witcher 3 is a good long one, though. I mean, it, like... Uh-oh. Better... stock the ship that is a great question like who actually went out of their way to make sure the store and the bench were powered and all that but yeah it, it is a real big time sink it's one of the reasons i never made a video on witcher 3 is i'm like i just don't have the hard drive space <laughs> maybe someday Let's watch the river for you i know there's a oh there's you I knew you'd be here sometime. All right, let's take off your foot. That'll make you easier. Okay, you're down. Good. Use your bunch of numbers. Thanks for following. Oh, this is where the tentacle was. I remember you. I died to you so many times. Uh oh. Woo, that was close. Wait, you're not dead. Uh oh. Spitter. Oh, I thought I could get him before he spat. No. I was hoping to. Spitters are fun because they actually make you play offense. Like normally when I uh, when I'm going through this um, tried on pistol only, you beat it like that. Oh Jesus, no! <laughs> uh, I, actually, you could do this game on plasma cutter only. I just I love the Ripper though. The Ripper, I'm a big Ripper stand. Like you could do you could do this on plasma cutter only pretty probably pretty well. Uh oh, I just worry I'd run out of ammo. Oh, you're up there. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Sit down right next to your brother. Okay. Oh, God, another one. Okay, back to you. I feel like after, after setting off so many pregnant ones uh, early in this stream, I'm just going to stay here. It just makes life so much easier. Ugh, alright. To remember which button is the X because I'm using an Xbox controller. And it's on PlayStation. Oh, that's the worst part of using an emulator. So yeah, because you know, because the X is on a different uh, part of the controller, no matter where you are. And uh, I'm using an Xbox controller right now, so like I have to keep reminding myself which X to press. Because otherwise, I'd sit here pressing A the whole time, being like, "Why am I dying?" Monster hugs. Yeah, he got me. Good for them. Entering zero gravity. Oh, it was a replicator. Like, okay, so it can just... Oh, yeah, yeah. So it can just fabricate anything. That might be why the, the store is uh, powered. Like, it just needs materials, and then it's just good to go from there. I don't think anything attacks me for a little while in here. I mean, probably will eventually, but... You have to take these things... And then make a puzzle out of here. So we have to connect everything. So I believe this should go here. Oh, all right. 
this. Is there anything? Is there other stuff in the room I should be collecting? Because I feel like once I turn this on, I can't remember if I get jumped, but it would be when I get jumped. Mm, maybe not. All right. Okay. We have another of these, which should go here. Uh, John Ion, thanks so much. Appreciate you being here. Okay, let's see. We've got... Oh, it's one of you. What are you? You look like credits. I like credits. And... Forest energy schematic. Don't need that. Uh, here's another one. Come here. Okay, so you are running up the left side. You look like you belong here. Any others? Yeah, we are missing one. Where is it? Flashing red. What is that? Oh, river blades. Yeah, let's get those. Here, centrifuge piece. Where are you? It's right here somewhere. Let's just look around carefully. It's probably right in front of my face. Mm, there we go. Red light's there. Red light's along that ramp. Because it looks like we're missing one. I'm not sure where it is. And that's the force energy schematic. I'm oriented around here so I don't get dizzy. Uh, oh, uh, no, not that. Are you down here somewhere? You hope the remake is successful, so they remake two as well. I agree. I really hope that this is something they put a lot of love into. I feel like EA sort of knows they have to kind of make it up to the fan base after three. Flamer fuel. Yeah, let's just look around from here. Where is it? I know it It has to... Wait a minute. Is that... No, that's the ramp. Okay. Isn't the fourth one protocol? No, Callista protocol is like a spiritual successor. But it's not uh, officially part of Dead Space, but it is very similar. Um, okay, I know it's here somewhere. How the heck can I find it? Ellie, the damn cooling core is extended and pieces are everywhere. Really? It won't work unless all the cooling tubes are connected. I'm aware of yeah, that. Thank I you, game. I see two paths on the floating components. I, I, I think I can match them up with the right sockets. You'd better hurry. The GovSec is getting further away by the minute. I know. I'm going as fast as I can. But I'll contact you when I'm done. Yeah, a lot of people weren't sure, William. Um, it's a little confusing, but, like, it's the original creators of Dead Space made Callisto Protocol, and the games are very similar. Uh, but they're not technically part of the same universe. I think they're probably not allowed to be. Is that you? No, okay, that's a helmet. Where, do, where is this last one? All right, I know it's here somewhere. Let's check. I'm gonna check like in these little elevator nooks. Let's see. Like, where is the sneaky spot for it? Is that it? No. Is up near the ceiling? We're just looking for, um, there is, let's see, one last connector, and for the life of me, I'm having trouble finding it. Like, normally, they're pretty close. Yeah, it's this one right here. There should be something right along there, and it should be floating out here somewhere for me to pick up. They're usually not very far from where you stick them in. It's not supposed to be a tough puzzle. Uh, where are you? Come here, come here, come here. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? Ah, you're hiding under the thing. All right. Phew. I was like, come on. That can't be the thing that holds me up on stream. All right, boom. 
There it is. Okay. Phew. All right. Let's start her up. If you all remember the uh, centrifuge from Dead Space uh, 1, uh, this is the same one, of course. Hopefully we're not going to have to, you know, run on biomass or whatever. Okay, power's up. Now we should be able to fire the gravity tethers. Uh, where are we headed? This way. You got me playing number one now. Do it. Oh, my God. It's so good. And then plus, like, you'll be able to appreciate all the differences they put into the remake if you're familiar with one. Uh-oh. I think this is a hallucination. Yeah. Phew. I hated those things with one, man. I think these are the folks I just killed. <laughs> oh, that was worth it. I should do more of that. I'm going to conserve ammo. I'm going to have fun with it. Ellie, I've got the centrifuge online. I'm no. heading back towards the tram station. Stay in there. I'm not. Okay. Not I've almost got us disconnected no, no, from the mag rail. No, Keep me posted. Let's see. Is there anything over here? I think this is the area we were... Yeah, this is the area we were in before. All right, never mind. All right, back to the tram station. Uh, I think... I, I really think we have a fight in here. I can't recall if we do, but I'm pretty sure we do. Let's see. Ethan, thanks for following. Yep, all right. Oh, wait. No, maybe not. Let's see. There's a, there's a vent. Is there one over here? No. Okay. You want to get the trilogy pack and the new release for the PS5? I I'm really excited about the new release. We got like three weeks to go. Not much. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do have... Oh, it's the babies again. All right. Well, glad we got the Ripper. All right. You're going to bust through there, aren't you? All right, small kids, let's go. Oh, man. You know what's funny about this? I don't know that he, if he's watching right now. When I went home for the holidays, whoa, oh, oh, uh, I'll play that story in a second. Oh, got me. Uh, when I went home for the holidays, my, uh, my dad wanted to see more of my streams. And of course I'm there with, you know, my very religious parents and I've been making like a whole bunch of Dead Space content over the last couple of months. And I'm like, maybe not, maybe let's not watch it Christmas morning in front of everyone. <laughs> So I wonder if he... I did end up sending him my link, so I wonder if he's actually, you know, ends up watching any of it. Decontamination. Initializing. Uh, yeah, EA uh, is going to make the uh, the remake for Dead Space. And, I mean, to their credit, it does look good. I think IGN put out, like, the first, like, 18 minutes. Like, pretty much up to where the you get the gravity tethers on the tram. And honestly, I think it looks great. I feel like they did a really good job. Are we saying uh, that uh, striking distance uh, made their game really close to Dead Space? I mean, they did. There is a lot in Callisto Protocol that is very similar to Dead Space. I mean, I know it's not like a hot take. That's like a really popular opinion. But, like, there's no way they didn't know what they were doing. Nope. Oh, you're too fast. Decontamination 
But you know, honestly, it kind of... I, I understand why they might do that for a new IP because, like, we streamed the Callisto Protocol when it first came out. Um, and a lot of people were, like, excited to see how close it was to Dead Space. I mean, you know, we, we, we kind of, like, touched on everything that was similar and people were like, oh, that's awesome. I'm going to buy it. So, like, you know, I, could, I understand giving your audience what they want. Josh, do we have faith in EA? I mean, honestly, oh, who even knows? Yeah, is it a cash in uh, from the publisher? Yes, I mean it's EA. I you know, they know Joss people want to see worry. that game again. Listen, I, I would never, I would never. But son, Daddy's not a murderer. Stross. I would Stross. never hurt. He's Wait, not me. real. Yes, he is. You can't see him because you haven't taken the steps, Stross. You will make put down the step screwdriver. Step three. Ah! Stross. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie. Shit. I am surprised Ellie wasn't able to fight off Strauss. I mean, I don't know how strong either of them are, really, but Ellie seems pretty capable. Um, what is the alt fire for the... I gotta try that out. I mean, yes, at the end of the day, it's a business, and I mean, honestly, people are really excited for that game. So, including me. So... It's not wrong to give your, uh, you know, your audience what they want, but, like, yes. Is it just, like, an attempt to revitalize a franchise for them that they kind of ruined last time? Yes. But as long as they do a faithful job, which so far looks like they did, then, man, what's the harm? Ooh. I heard something crunch. Uh, okay. Let's get back to the tram station. I think I think we go to the medical deck next. You have to lock down your pre-order. I mean, I haven't pre-ordered yet, but honestly, it's like I'm definitely gonna get it on launch. Like even if it ends up being a dumpster fire, I'm gonna do like I'm, I'm gonna make a video on it. So I may as well because there's just, there's no way that I'm not going to buy it on launch. Like I I hate pre-ordering, but honestly, it's like I'm just doing it for the sake of like trying to be principled as a, opposed to, like, any good reason. Uh oh Now we got swarmers, too. Oh, that thing shoots grenades? That's awesome. I didn't know that. Whoa! Okay, I grenaded myself. That's less awesome. put the flamethrower away right, right when the swarmers show up. Uh, all right. Well, we got our tram back. Surely all will go fine from here on in. <laughs> you don't blame me. You're just dragging your feet. Yeah. You know, still, though, I mean, like, I probably should do that. Just get it done. There's probably some pre-order bonus or something. Damn it. That hurts. The bastard bit me. What? Ah, oh, shit. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But he stopped talking. He won't look at me. How's it going at your end? And please tell me this plan is going to work. I'm almost there. I'm headed to the bridge now to activate the gravity tethers. Well, good. They're swarming in through a hole in the medical deck. At least you won't have to go through there. Unexpected obstruction ahead. Shutting down. Aww. Welcome to the medical deck. Oh, crap. Which is, of course, the deck where Nicole worked. So, naturally... <laughs> She's certainly not going to just let that go. Alright. I love this reveal here. I think this is the place. Oh man, that's so cool. Oh, you're 
spinner. Uh, Anything from you? No. All right. Alright, so we've got... I'm trying to remember where this was in the medical... I'm sure... Oh, this is the cryo chamber! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, this is where we fought the hunter. I remember this spot. I love that there's a... There was a power node here in game one, too. <laughs> there is a dirty joke in there somewhere, but I'm not sure. Not one I'm probably gonna make on stream. Catch me some other time. I'll think of a good punchline. Let's see here. What do we have here? Oh, you. Alright. Nope. Oh, we got an exploder. That's Stacy you. Okay, not so bad. Feel like I hear people roaming around. I want to be very careful not to stomp on that uh, big orange thing, or I will definitely die. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's stace this up. Grizzly, thanks for following. Yeah, I don't want to put the channel at risk, especially because YouTube is apparently getting a little more aggro on... Uh, Naughty words. If you haven't seen, uh, if you if you follow uh, ProZD, he does a great little uh, skit on it because, of course, he does. Okay, something's here. Oh no! 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 no. Get over here. Oh, God. Phew. Okay. You were just thinking of that ProZD video. Yeah, if you haven't... He's a great Twitter follow also. But also, like, I love, like... Like, going back, watching his old Vine compilations are so funny. That guy is hilarious. He doesn't do nearly as much on TikTok. You'd think he would, although granted he's like a professional voice actor now, so maybe he like he doesn't have to. Oh man. Now is this okay, this is Mercer's office. Alright, that's where we're at. Isaac, it's me. Oh, we have the video. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. This was the video from Dead Space One, of course. About everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all from a part here. I, I, I just can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. In the end, it all comes down to just one little thing. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. I loved you. I always loved you. Loved you. Oh, that little skull flash. I do appreciate. I like the uh, Nicole's performance in two. One always felt a little wooden to me, and like, uh oh, okay. I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. 
And I couldn't tell if that was intentional since you're not supposed to know, obviously, the twist in one. But two always felt like a little more empathetic. Uh, let's see. One of, uh, one of the creators on our channel worked on a two-person startup trying to create machine learning tools to help ordinary people recognize propaganda. ProZD's point about hate speech is painful. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, he does... It's, it's, you know, kind of a quick sketch about how, you know, you can get demonetized if you swear in the first 15 seconds of a video, but hate speech, as long as you don't swear, they're not really doing all that much about, and that sucks. That seems like a way more important problem to tackle, personally. But also, I mean, cynically, I assume that that's, you know, YouTube is doing that for the advertisers, and I would think getting hate speech off of YouTube would be good for advertisers. Uh-oh. But apparently they have picked their battles. And I think they're picking the wrong ones. There. Right. What else? Now I think this is the area where... Oh yeah, okay, I can pull this over. Health pack, heck yes! I need that. Oh, so badly. All right, good. Let's see anything in here. More important problem, but if simple solutions could be implemented, that would result in complicated blowback. Uh, that said, big tech companies have the infrastructure in place, and no one's acting. Yeah, the problem is, doesn't make people money. So, they're not really making it the priority that they should. I agree. Okay, I think... If I pull the battery, does that stop this machine? Yeah, it does. Alright, good. Oops, something. Oh! There you are. Hey! Oh, there's more of them. Right. Oh! Oh, got me! Good job! Oh, man. All right, hang on. I keep missing the... Let's see. We'll do that couple of All right, let's see. Let's do that again. Oh, we're back here. Ah, oh, bummer. All right, that's fine. Now, what's cool, uh, when we get down past the area where we were, uh, there's a neat little Easter egg that I'll show you from Dead Space 1. over here. There you are. Let's pull this over. Oh, where are you? There you are. Uh, let's make sure we're using the right pack. Yeah. yeah, one enemy standing up, the other one runs up. Yeah, it's rough. Oh, political blowback. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. It's it's really unfortunate that you're correct, but I know you are. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if you saw that. Somebody ran through here and uh, 
and they got wiped out by the uh, the power. I wonder if we can use that to our advantage. Right? Oh my! Oh my! Blade dropped off the moment he charged. That's too bad. There you go. There he is. I don't know that. Ah, oh, I didn't get the large health pack. That's all right. We'll be all right. Yeah, I wonder if we. I don't want to get too close. Like if I pull this out and then aggro all the like everybody. Uh oh, first we gotta deal with you. And then throw this back in. Uh -oh. me. Oh, that was you. Yeah, William Spurlock. Oh, wow, we did get somebody. There's a lot more dead bodies over there than there were before. All right, let's try pulling that out. I don't know if they're dead, though. Nope, they weren't. <laughs> there, no. All right. Those are seeker shells. Why does this part of the game look like straight out of a crime scene? Because it is a crime scene. Look at it. Okay. Now, we're, we'll go in there in a moment. Let me just see how many power nodes I have. We definitely want to have one for this. CSI is Shimura. Oh, that's great. Um, oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's increase the damage of the Elfire for that flamethrower. All right. So, funny story about this room. If you don't know, this is the room where Nicole recorded her video in, uh, in Dead Space 1. Um, it actually exists in game. So, it's going to look very different right now, of course, given how uh, I want to. I just want to make sure nothing's going to come out and try to eat me. But when she, uh, yeah, when she records the video, she is uh, right in front of this thing, and you know some of the shelves are gone now and all that. But like, uh, if you actually like go in here in the room in Dead Space One, you have to unlock it. But she's sitting right here with a camera, like, right here. And that's where all the video was shot. <laughs> We're all winners. All right, I got a semiconductor. Okay, oh, we got whatever's here. What are you? Oh, with some, uh, ooh. With something that screamed when I stomped it. All right, but let's press on. I, feel like, I think I got jumped in here in the first game, and I was just like, immediately I opened that door, and I was like, wait, no! I have a thing on this. Okay, so apparently in the remake, we are going to find out what happened to Nicole. Um, that would, uh, at least that was a story I heard. I believe that it's true. We'll find out for sure, obviously, when we played it. But apparently, they are going to solve that mystery for us. Um, now, whether Isaac will find out, I don't know, because that technically just made what the marker told Isaac non-canon, if that's true. But like, yeah, it's kind of interesting that they're uh, they're going to go back and uh, finally tell us what happened to Nicole's body. Because you go in that room and it's not there. You know, she's right about that. Oh, diamond semiconductor, yes. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on? Uh, okay, we could use. We definitely need more ripper blades and more line racks. Sell that. Buy a bunch of these. Maybe some of these two. Okay. Cool. All right, 
Alright, let's go on. I think we go through here. So we went in the back tram station. If you recall, there's that tram station that you leave at the end of Chapter 5, and then this is the one that you start at at the beginning of Chapter 2. Entering zero gravity. Although now it has zero gravity. That's new. Uh, let's see. If I remember right... Oh, wait. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one. Got him. All right. There's several lurkers kind of in this area. I've tried to just rush it before, and it doesn't work out so well. And that was on normal difficulty, so I'm not going to try it now. Okay, there's one somewhere. All right, he's up there. Oh, there's one. Man, they're like everywhere else. No! I got the med pack. Okay, there's one down. Oh, there you are. Come here. Alright, you're done. Where even am I? Oh, I hear two of them? At least two. Oh, there's the platform. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Is there anything out here I want? Nah, let's bail. Alright. Exiting zero gravity. Woo! Okay. Alright, now here we are. Uh, on the bridge. So this is the, uh, the bridge where, uh, we will engage the gravity tethers. And if you remember that from Dead Space 1. Oh, but first, first we have kind of a tough fight out on the, uh, the bridge floor here. Stores offline. Uh, what do I want to use for this? I think the line gun. I know we have zealots. There's also some swarmers over there. To swap out for the uh, flamethrower. Okay, let's start with that. Then. Oh, get off me! No! Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh no, this is all going to completely wrong. And now they're going to pounce on me. Get off me! Oh, this is going to. God, this is so bad. All right. I thought we were done for. Whew. Okay. Thank you. I thought we were dead. All right. There's those things. They're gonna, that one's going to run out in a moment. Oh. You picked the other side. You tricked me. Nice move. He's not the only one, though. If you're on TikTok also, don't, uh, 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 we'll be back here Saturday and Sunday, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Uh, links in my bio to my YouTube channel. Uh, definitely do come over there and hang out with us sometime. We'd love to have you. Oh, rip to the, uh, Star Wars game that Visceral's making? Yeah, God, imagine what that would have been. Uh, okay, I know there's some more out there, but I don't think... They're gonna come in here. At least if they do, I'll be able to get them pretty easily. Oh, uh, we got a bench. Oh, audio log. Oh, I missed it. All right, let's go on. Okay, 
Let's press onwards to the bridge. just now. Are we about to get, like... Oh, man. I don't like that music. Where are you? There you are. Ooh! Ooh -hoo -hoo! Oh, that was good timing. Oh, man. I don't know how we pulled that off. Okay. I think we made it down to the bridge. Safe, so we never have to do that again. Yeah, that was seriously close. I don't know how we survived that. All right, down to the captain's nest. Wait, there's something in here. There's an unexplained mystery that we have to talk about in a second. Only I'm almost to the captain's nest to activate the tethers. All right, the centrifuge will explode to full power from here. Great, let's hope this works. It'll be tight. You ready? All set. I'll wait for your signal. All right. Yvonne, thanks for following. Appreciate it. Okay. So here's the deal. We're going to come out in a second, and we're going to use this escape pod. If you look around here, there are no other escape pods, right? So this is the only one with a pod. Here's the thing. In Dead Space 1, when you come out of here and Hammond launches a pod that has a trapped necromorph inside, it's this one. And I know that because I made a video on Dead Space and had to watch the footage 10,000 times. So, I don't know if this was a mistake or if this is Isaac hallucinating or something like that, but this pod was definitely gone when Isaac was here on the Ishimura in Dead Space 1. So it's strange that they put this one here for, uh, for two. All right, for now, let's collect this stuff. And then launch the gravity tethers. All right, we're gonna confirm the sequence here. And then hopefully that'll get the tram across. You did it! Now get back here, the tracks are moving. No, just go. I'll use one of the escape pods and meet you there. Now go! You idiot! Those gravity tethers would tear the whole moon apart. I mean, sorry, Tyman, but you didn't give me a lot of choice. All right, but first, we gotta talk to you. I don't know. I don't know what you are, okay? Probably the most professional Twitch live. I'm surprised it's not filled with derps. Give it time. There's always time for derps. All right, let's blast on out of here. Bye. I'm away. Ellie, did you make it? Isaac, we crossed the track, but we're coming in hot. I just need you to see what I see, oh, Ellie. Oh, Ellie. I it won't hurt. Just put down the screwdriver. Trust no. ah! I'm amazed Ellie is able to pilot the tram with all that going on. All right, so we're blasting out. Land ourselves as best we can. Isaac, are you there? Yeah. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmael is a great ship. I am so lucky to be sitting aboard her. Well, you were for a moment. You made me stick with that. You made me stick with that. You made me stick with that. You made me die! Let's check it with 
across an alley. This is gonna be a little intense for folks. That was uh that was Dead Space 2 chapters uh, six through ten. Uh, I think we made a lot of progress today. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Uh, if on if you're on TikTok, if you haven't yet, please follow the channel. Also, you can use the link in my bio to come to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, please consider subscribing if you haven't. We'll be back Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, and hopefully we'll wrap up this uh, this round of Dead Space 2 on Zella difficulty. So thank you for hanging out with me, especially at folks who have been here the whole time. Really appreciate it. Uh, those folks who uh, just came in for the first time, thank you for coming. Glad to see you. Those folks who have been here uh, like all the time, especially Milo Chaos, you're here all the time. Thank you so much for that. Uh, good to have everyone here. I uh, hope you all have an excellent rest of your week. And uh, take care, everybody. All right.